Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Dewey. And I'm Steve O'Mooney. I am Matthew Renfrew. And we are Socially Awkward. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's a night. It is uh, September the 27th, 2013. Holy crap, where has the year gone? Oh, my goodness gracious. It is just flying by. I don't know about you guys, but it's just, like, ridiculous how quick things are, are going. Um, so, uh, just jump right into it here. Uh, first of all, this show is brought to you by AmericaJoy.com, proud sponsor of the Four Eyed Radio Network. If you need business cards, flyers, posters, banners, cut vinyl, car wraps, or more, check out AmericaJoy.com for more information and tell him the fern sent you. So, Stephen. What if they don't want to tell you the fern sent you? Well, then, I mean, they can still do that. Just maybe, but, but do, but do tell them that. Okay. I'm just That'd be fantastic. You don't have to. It's not like, oh, he's gonna, you're going to show up at his place of business and be like, I'd like some business cards. And he'd be like, well, who sent you here? I'm not going to tell you. Well, Matt, then you get no business cards. My name's Matt, and I heard about your business from uh, a little podcast I listened to. It's called Socially Awkward. Um, uh, and uh, or I guess, actually, it's uh, the fern. I can't, like, where the red fern grows, I think. Oh, did you now? <laughs> you found a place to dab the fern. Well, Lottie freaking da, Matthew. Guess what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to give you a deal. I'm going to fuck what? you. What? Oh, I, <laughs> again. I, I just really wanted some coasters. <laughs> oh, you're going to get coasters. coasters, man. You're going to oh get plenty of coasters. Well, um, uh, um, can, can you put... Um, Let's just put it this way. There won't be any watermarks when I'm done with you. Oh, but I kind of wanted graphics on, you know. Oh, side. there'll be graphics, all right. Can It'll we, be graphic. Can It'll be sure. graphically inserted into your bunghole. Can we Can we maybe put like a uh, non-sticky uh, no. surface on one it's of those? It's going to be very sticky. <laughs> no, we'll... <laughs> but You'll if you be need. in a sticky situation. Uh, you know what, though? I know a place that has a lot of great cleaning products for if you get that sticky stuff, quote-unquote, uh, on you. Cleaning products? Yeah, you could go to... The Sasquatch.net, click on the Amazon banner, and search for cleaning products. Lame. You will find a... <laughs> Shut up. No, 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 that's okay. Anyways, so, uh, uh, you know, I know we're going to, we've got to get to our bitch sessions of how our weeks were, right? So, yeah, do you want to go first? I'll go first. Go uh, first, David. So how was your week? I was we already know that it... Lost my job. Yeah. Fucking Fan sucks. fantastic. So I've been looking for a new job and everything like that. I'm starting to realize... Operation Get Steve Moody a new job. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think people should help out. Of course, they're not helping out with my other campaign of trying to save children's lives. But, you know, it's great. It's fun. You know. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, obviously, so, so if somebody obviously, out there has a job for Steven and a couple of bucks to throw at some kids, <laughs> that'd be wonderful. I, 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 do both. I, actually, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto Five, and I have right. been thinking about I need to do a bank heist or something. So I got to get a team together. <laughs> uh, obviously, I was doing. Did you watch my, that new show, my, Lucky Seven? No, that just came. You should check that show out. I've been doing. I just did my Trevor Lucky Seven. Yeah, it's uh, the first episode was not fantastic. But have we'll you heard get into it? it a little bit. It's a brand new show. Just it just started this week. We'll get into it when we talk about. There's TV also stuff. another new show too that came out this week. The Blacklist. I have not seen the Blacklist oh, yet, but that. I have seen Agents oh, we'll of talk Shield. About that. Yes, I saw that one too, and I actually really enjoyed that. We'll talk about that more on in the show. But yeah, yeah. just basically so. looking for jobs. Been playing a lot of gaming. Uh, Grand Theft Auto has really taken over my life, but it's in a good way. Um, my favorite character, obviously, is Trevor. I was just doing that impersonation. I think. Uh, I think I already see our our cast of characters here. Obviously, I'm the psychopath. Matthew is uh, Michael. Yeah, you're Michael. Who did you think I was going to say? Right. No, I know Eric's Franklin because he he lives in a trailer. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that cut a little. That, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Cut a little deep, a little close to home. Oh yeah. And you know the walls are thin, so that uh, cuts right, right through them real quick. It does. Dude, you right. need to bulk up. <laughs> you need to bulk up, yeah. If your if your skin's a little thin, you need to bulk up. The fall is here. It's you know what? Cold. Bulk you up, buddy. <laughs> If I winter is you. coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> winter is coming. I did that actually just not too long ago. I was outside my house. It was really cool out that night. I'm just like, winter is coming. And this random person just looked at me going, what? <laughs> they walked by and was like, fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right by, they're like, this, I is, hear you. <laughs> this is Phoenix. There's no winter coming. Yeah, I don't know yeah. who's, who you've been talking but anyways, to. anyways, uh, let's go to, uh, you know what? I'm going to spice it up. Eric, what about you? Let's go to you. Uh, my week was. I want to say the best for last. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because my week was boring as shit. I mean, really, all I did this week, uh, other than work and work was uh, watch a couple of new TV shows, which we'll talk about when we get into television. Uh, like I said, Lucky Seven, uh, Blacklist, and uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were actually my, my new shows this week. So that's really the exciting part of my week was watching TV. How about you, Matthew? You got anything actually exciting going on in your world? You know what? The week's been easy peasy. It's been nice and easy. 
A little cheesy. A little breezy? Not so much breezy. Well, breezy, breezy it, cover girl, you know. I guess it was a little breezy. There was, yeah. Some wind we had a little, yeah, we had a duster. We had a haboob. No, uh, we haboob. had boobs. A haboob. Uh, I got boobs. Uh, boob. that's, why, that's why I've stopped drinking as much soda, boob. because I've got boobs. So I've cut back on the Dude, soda intake. you need to bulk up. You need to bulk up. No, I need to bulk down. The second That's time the problem. I said it. Did I not say this? Tonight's I, I got the bulk is already. bulk up. When you hear Matthew say bulk up, you might win a prize. <laughs> Text bulk to and by might we mean you will not. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, no, they the, have to call in. The week was uh, pretty oh, wait, pretty good. Um, some highlights, I guess, would be you know new TV shows are back. So Matthew's going to give me a job. And there's some entertainment there. Um, I, dude, I've been hoping. I helped you. I, know, I, know. I helped you. I know. And I will continue to help you. Oh, really? As long as you shut the fuck up. These pretzels. I think is what the what the look implied with that sentence. <laughs> These pretzels are good. <laughs> These pretzels are a highlight right now. I'm eating some wow. pretzels. It's a highlight. When pretzels are a highlight of your week, you know not much has been going on. No, dude, Matt. Hey, dude. You need to bulk up. Yeah, you need to bulk up. Dude. <laughs> bulk up. Just bulk up, bro. Not on pretzels. Do you even bulk, bro? <laughs> dude, dude. Bro, do you, do you even, even bulk? bulk? <laughs> no, do I do not. Bulk, do you even bro? bulk, bro? Shit, what else was a highlight? Um, oh. Pumpkin porter. I got uh, I got some pumpkin porter from uh, oh, yeah? Four Peaks. Nice. Yeah. It's nice. It is nice. I do like porters, and I like Four Peaks. I have not tried their pumpkin porter, I bet, so I will have to give it a shot. I bet you would be a fan of it. Well, I bet we, I will. Are, we are going to be on to the October festivities, not too you know, so oh, far along yeah. there, so we will start doing some. Sort of uh, fats next weekend. Should we go? You I know think, what the best that's... months for drinking yeah. are? October. October, November, month. December. Uh, January. February, March, April, May, June, uh, July. July is good, and uh, August and September. Yeah, just those ones. None of the others. Yeah, I was going to say we should probably skip uh, February. Nah, man, Valentine's Day. Champagne. Yeah. Champagne. Yeah, well, I'm going to... February. <laughs> if you're going to have to skip one month, skip the shortest month. I mean, that's, I mean, if you, if you if have it, to. If it's your, in your case, just skip all 12 because you've been going to those classes, haven't you? Was that the case that I heard? No, no. Really? No, I then what was that phone that. call from you a couple of nights ago where you said you needed a sponsor? Yeah, yeah. like the sobriety and all that stuff. Yeah, no, no, that was for crack. <laughs> that's oh. not for the alcohol. Come oh. on now. <laughs> I was like, well, you got your token, I mean, right? it was I mean, a weird intervention for you. I was the <laughs> only one who brought, like, you know, a veggie, veggie tray. And, uh, I I had it was pretzel. delicious. That peppercorn yeah, for ranch yourself. was amazing. You a bag for yourself. <laughs> I got to say, that peppercorn ranch was, was delicious. I did, I did, I did. Mm-hmm. All right, well, why don't we go ahead, since we've been leading into it so much, why don't we go ahead and talk about the new TV shows that we have seen uh, so far, obviously. Did you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well? No, I didn't. Okay, uh, well, so me and Matthew, me and your Matthew, me and Steven, <laughs> Wow, this Pinot Noir wow. is do, do we really look alike, buddy? Do we really? I've I know been, we could be twins. I've been bulking. <laughs> Me and him both, bro. <laughs> we bulk a lot, bro. No, so well, we've been tanning lately, and uh, he's been hiding out up. from the sun, evidently. It's fall. <laughs> okay? Fall, you I'm going to get a little lighter, okay? It's going to happen. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> go, ahead. So, go ahead and Steven. tell me about this uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, it's uh, basically, it's a, obviously the spinoff from the Avengers movie, yep. uh, the actual S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, agency. I'm like trying to remember the name. Um, I liked it. I thought it was actually, actually two I, actors from the actual movie, right? Was Robin Shabazki. Rob, yeah, Robin Shabazki. And, and then the guy that uh, Loki killed. Asian, Asian, uh, Asian cultural. No, a- Agent <laughs> Coulson. Yeah. Wow, I'm drinking. So this is before the... No, no. It, do you it's want actually, us to give you the spoiler, or do you want to wait? Yeah. It's kind of a throwaway spoiler. I wouldn't even yeah, call it a spoiler, because uh, like, I was like, I was like, basically, watching, and I'm like, they, wait, they killed that guy in the Avengers. What the hell? And then five seconds later, like, oh, so you faked your death? Oh. Yeah, yeah, he uh, faked yeah. his death, and he got seven... Well, uh, uh, Fury, Nick Fury faked his death mm-hmm. to try to gel the Avengers together over one common goal... Blah blah, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, blah. basically. Whatever they they they've got a. It's a good actor. But it's I a, like his acting. I like him in it though. And, and he's doing very well. And in Robin, the, show, the so. girl, the woman who plays Robin, she's very yeah. well in it. Good. They do have a new cast of people and stuff like that. It was a very good starter episode. Um, I wasn't sure what they were planning on doing, mm-hmm. but I did like the aspect. There was like the guy jumps out of a burning building and kind of has super strength. You're like, oh, so they are going to feature kind of superheroes in this, right. or. So but then you one. find out that it ties into Iron Man three also. Yeah. Because you find out that the reason he has super strength is because he has a virgin of a version a virgin. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to of hear you thing. say that they're going to tie that in there because I thought I heard somewhere that said they weren't really going to bring superhero type 
um, people in this. It was made was like the but, main but characters, was like, like the heroes of the show, are not superheroes. I know, I w- but they are fight. The, their first quote unquote villain, in, at least in this pilot episode, is a person who has extra powers. But they're, well, he's they're not gonna, a superhero either. You can't have a show. Well, that's like, the thing, but they do. But they, <laughs> I don't think they're. I don't think they're really going to. People. I don't really think they're going to say no to it because they right off the bat mm-hmm. when the episode starts, they talk about the. They's like, well, we've we've already seen the attack on New York. Right. We've seen the monster, and it shows the Incredible Hulk. It shows, you know, the soldier from the '40s, Captain America. Right. They talk about Iron Man. They talk about all these kind of things. I mean, they even bring up Stark Enterprises a couple yeah. of times in the episode. Yeah. So I don't think they're really bearing the lead. And plus, they can kind of do what they want because ABC is owned by Disney, and Disney owns Marvel. So as long as it sits in yeah, that they generate, can, they can pretty much do whatever they want. I think what they're trying to do is that it, I think they're trying to go more of like a powers direction with it, where they're the main characters of the story are not the ones with powers. Yes. Whereas with the Avengers and with all the other movies, the main characters of the story are the ones with the powers. Whereas in this, they're focusing more on the auxiliary cast. I mean, you have um, have Pepper... She yeah, doesn't really she, have. Well, main, she's she's a main character, Dinny, but she is a well, uh, Portman, subsidiary of with, uh, what's Iron name? Man, uh, Black Widow. Yeah, she does not have any superpowers. Yeah, I'm talking you, like all, she's got a super all the all the women of these movies are the main characters. And a set of super titties. <laughs> Everybody got quiet. Super titties. I'm like, I start talking dirty. Everybody's like, yeah. Hey, Don John. Don John comes out uh, oh today. God. Who? Super Don John. Don John. That's the one that uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt oh, yeah. wrote and directed. It's got him oh. and Scarlett Johansson in it. Also, he's got uh, what's his face uh, in it? The guy from Who's the Boss? Tony Danza. Tony Danza. Tony frickin' Danza. Hey, they asked me to be in the film, but you know, I wasn't, uh, wasn't bulked up enough. You know, bro. <laughs> it was weird. I got bulked up. I had to fucking bulk up. Tony, Tony Danza up. been been doing it, huh? Uh, I'm only watching a movie with Tony Danza if Mona's there. That's that's it. That's Mona my Mona was the fucking boss. Sh- yeah, no shit. Damn straight. Um, another new show I watched this week, I talked about it briefly in the intro, was uh, The Blacklist. This is the new James Spader show. Yes. Freaking awesome, now, dude. Guys, that, watch this See, that's the show. thing. The main character, though, in it, uh, the guy who's mm-hmm. the Blacklist guy or whatever his mm-hmm. name, he's actually going to be the voice of Ultron in the new Avengers I heard movie, that. I so. heard that. I, I love James Spader. James I've always Spader? loved James yeah. Spader. He was um, on Jimmy Fallon this week. From freaking Stargate. Well forward I've, I've always loved i've always yeah loved it's Spader. on hulu so i will check it out yeah definitely check that out i highly recommend it it's one of the few shows where even in just the pilot you got a lot of actual storytelling done while introducing the characters no thank you um no i'm not a, i'm not much of a pretzel guy i appreciate the offer though matthew i do uh, <laughs> throw it in your freaking drink you wow you're wow you're supposed to not be drinking that you're in you're in aa yeah anyways Triple A. It's the Automobile Club of America. Triple A. Automobile Association of America or something like that. Get your discount. <laughs> anyway, I highly, highly recommend The Blacklist. It was a great show. You've been sitting there for I'm, like almost 45 seconds. I'm like, that. I'm just know, he's ignoring it. Ignoring, ignoring Steven right now is doing disgusting things with a pretzel. I'm eating a pretzel. How is that disgusting? Yeah, Shut up, you're eating a pretzel like it was a cock. Okay, so no, that's it? disgusting. That's he's, how you eat cock? He's just broke. <laughs> He's just bulking up, bro. That's how, I, that's how I imagine a cock would be eaten. I mean, I don't God, know. Gay. <laughs> Come on, bro. I can up. pull it up on my computer. <laughs> you have fun with that. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. you got it bookmarked already, so no worries. Hey. Yeah, it's um, called www.everybewysuckscock.com. So anyway, the on my own time is my private line. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I'm just saying you blacklist. Need to get let's to go. It. Come on, watch it. Hurry up with the black. Everybody out there, I'm watch the blacklist. Sassy. I'm getting sassy. <laughs> let's talk about it. And then the other new show, which you guys didn't even know existed, and I honestly didn't know existed either until my wife was like, "Hey, we got to watch this new show." It's called Lucky Seven, and it's actually it, it started off with a pretty good start. It does have the. It's got an ensemble cast. There's like seven main characters, obviously. Oh, so, wait. Is that why it's called Lucky Seven? It is. Um, <laughs> it's clever. So the first episode was a little a, a little too much of trying to build up each character, so yeah. not as much storytelling. But the basic premise of this first episode is that there's this group of people who work at a convenience store slash you know, lube shop, and they win the lottery. Okay. So and that's how it starts out. Is it's their story up into well, it's actually only six of them that technically win the lottery because there's one guy who works there who had been saving his money instead uh, of okay. like I'm not wasting my money on the lottery pool. <laughs> I'm smarter. And then they win the lottery, and he's like, oh, what network? Um, yeah, like I watch it on regular TV. I don't know okay. how we spend <laughs> a lot. People who actually are like Americans so, pay for their shit. Is it like I pay for my shit? I pay for my internet, which they, gets me my TV. 
<laughs> they win the they win the lottery, and then and then what do they do? Is it like know, a, uh, an Ocean's Eleven type we'll thing? We'll stay or? tuned until the second episode. Uh, uh, well, it is kind of interesting. I mean, spoiler alert: in the first episode, you know, two of the characters that are part of it are hurting for money right away, mm. and so they decide to actually rob their own store to make it look like it was a, a robbery that happened and okay. get money that they needed right away. And then, of course, the, that same night they find out that they actually won the lottery. So it's That's kind of like a, yeah, an I'm gonna, interesting situation. I'm get a convenience store and then rob it. Yeah. You know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a convenience store from the ground up. With Legos? I'm going to put my blood, sweat, and tears yeah. into it. With Legos. Legos. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. It would. Anyway, so in my Lego convenience store, which I've built from the ground up, hire all the best people. I really build this into a booming business. Spend maybe 10, 15 years just building this business just so I could rob it. That's Hell hilarious. yeah. It'd be like a, <laughs> rather than the 7-Eleven, it'd be like a 9-Eleven. Oh, oh yeah. damn. Oh, too damn. soon. Oh, I mean, um, too soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Let me guess. It's going gonna, it's gonna to crumble down. Be, it's going to crumble down real fast, right? No, like... Because it's Legos. Uh, God, you racist uh, terrorist. No, no, no. All you have to do is build it out of those little thin Legos. Those even, fuckers never come apart. So you know you've got the strongest building in the fucking world if know, you build it with those thin little Legos. That's you know what I'm so saying? so many Lego pieces to use, though. So what? You know how many... Did we discuss this on the show previously, that there's like 72 Lego bricks to every human being on the planet? I didn't think before I spoke. That's a, that's a lot of fucking Legos. I mean, we're going to have to rob a lot of little kids of their did Legos. you call the police? I did. <laughs> police they are. But kids hate those little skinny ones anyway, so it's be, it'll be cool. We'll like come up there in masks and guns and be like, give us all your Legos, but only the thin little pieces. You can keep all the good ones. And they'll be like, ah! oh, oh, you just want the thin ones? Fuck yeah, here you go. They've been stuck together for a year. I haven't even been able to get them Part. You just want the thin ones? I just want the thin ones. Yeah, I bet you do. Pick it up with the thin ones. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't like to be opened up that wide. So anyway, so for the TV watching, oh my God. check out those all the, shows. What's all the hate? I was just talking about Lego pieces, bro. If you bulk up, dude. Bulk up. You bulk up, bro. <laughs> if, you, if you guys just want me to Google it, just ask. So uh, also in TV news, I'm reading here in the show notes right now for the first time that evidently there might be a live-action Scooby-Doo TV show coming up? No. No. No, that's, that's not, not what I'm reading. That's not the story at all. It says, uh, Scooby-Doo based on a live oh, action what? sitcom. <laughs> Apparently... It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. I found the article. Tell me more. Uh, that's what I have to find out. So apparently um, there was a, uh, yeah, looking at the picture right now, it's pretty crazy. There was a uh, Scooby-Doo Where Are You launched in 1969. It was created as the request of Fred Silverman, the head of daytime programming at CBS. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, there was a uh, Bar uh, Hanna-Barbera with a mixture of the Archie show. Um, Series based on the Archie characters, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm looking at one of the pictures here, and it looks like the 1969 photo. Yeah, with the uh, two people, it looks like there's a guy who looks like Freddy, a yeah. girl who looks like Daphne, and a guy who looks like Shaggy, and it looks like the Scooby Doo might actually be based. So off they're of, oh, okay, so I get it. So they're saying that Scooby Doo was actually based on what a failed live action TV sitcom. That yeah, it was. Get dubbed, made I guess it get... was dubbed Mystery Five and had five teenagers just like the Archies and their dog. Too much or the members of the band named. Whatever not, but yeah, it looks like so. Scooby Doo's wow. origin was actually based off of an old sitcom, huh. I guess. So it's like, hey, you know that uh, you know that sitcom that didn't work with those stupid kids and their dog. Listen here, we're gonna animate that shit. Yeah, it's and gonna be the most popular fucking cartoon. Obviously, ever. if you think about it, <laughs> they, it's like they put it in the wrong media, but as soon as they put it in the right media, it was it successful. Fucking blew up. You know, so it's just like I like this photo though that the chicks because they that looks like the, Daphne looks like she's holding the syringe. Yeah. Well, at first I thought she was flipping those guys off. Yeah. And then yeah. I and then I like realized no, she's holding something. She's like, it looks like she's like she's like right I, to, I'll take care of this. And they're like, whoa, whoa, what slow you your roll there, lady. Oh, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna put this chicken to sleep. Doesn't that look like a chicken down the bottom? Yeah, I thought it was a chicken. Like zoinks, man. Are we gonna eat that heroin and then have sex with that chicken, man? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wouldn't it be better it? to eat the chicken and have sex with the hair? No, wait, that doesn't work either. What? <laughs> Why Those don't jam it into my penis? So what else we got in the new Ow. TV news? We got a we got a Gotham TV show, maybe. Yeah, apparently there's a old. Uh, uh, ch -ch 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 Apparently, there's a uh, there's a comic uh, book that was out there just based on like Gotham City's detective, Gotham criminal, uh, crimi uh, criminal, criminal, something like that. But yeah, bas basically, with everything, uh, with all the success of like TV shows and stuff like that, uh, apparently, Fox is might be in the running for getting a new uh, like kind of like the Gotham City 
like the, uh, stories or something. Kind of like that. It's going to be basically based more on the detectives of Gotham City, right. not so much of uh, Batman. Batman. I guess Batman might be like in the background, maybe a little bit or whatnot. But they're. Looking, I kind of like that idea. It's actually kind of a cool premise it to see. It expands the universe a little bit. Yeah, it expands the universe a little bit. So they're going to have like characters like Balak uh, back in it. They're going to have you know young Commissioner Gordon, you know, in there, uh, that kind of stuff. But we'll see what happens. I mean, it's just it's an idea. I don't know if it's been made official yet. Uh, if Fox is going to say to be picking up, but it's going to say expose the origins of uh, you know Jim Gordon and some of the city's uh, you know villains and stuff like that. So it should be pretty uh, interesting to actually see probably the breakdown of the actual Gotham City Police uh, than just a where is he vigilante guy. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess. The well, I love I love Batman. So anything that has to do with that whole universe and world and Gotham City, I'll I'll definitely give it a shot. Yeah, if I'd it's be TV, on board I'll too, watch for it. sure. So, uh, so the Batman TV shows around. that I've been watching this week. Oh yeah, we just kind of glossed over that. Sorry, you didn't say that you had anything. I thought you watched. You didn't even watch Agents of Shield. So what did you watch this yeah, week? Yeah, that was the only Matthew? one you guys talked about. Okay, well Matthew, tell us about your TV watching. How met your mother's back? Oh damn it. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen the new episode yet. I have it sitting waiting for me. Oh, you do? But I will well, watch it. Well, you saw, saw last the, season, though. I yeah. saw it to finish last season. Yeah, I'm caught up. I've been waiting for them to release it on I Netflix. won't give any spoilers or anything, but... Oh, uh, he face- meets their mother. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, Facebook No, Facebook already, <laughs> ru- already, already ruined that for me. I was scrolling down Facebook one day. They're like, oh, and here's the mother. I was like, oh, Oh, dang. okay, okay. Yeah, so she's... We know who the mother nobody, is, but right now she's we're... Nobody act- I was expecting them to bring in, like, a big, heavy yeah, that's cameo what I or too. something like that. Well, that's because no. throughout the whole season, they had so many yeah. different cameos. But, um, so we know who the mother is, and this, right now, we're working towards how Ted Mosby and her meet and all that stuff, so... Right. I love yeah, that Yeah, because it's supposed to be the final season. Hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, have you seen the, the comparison of it to Friends, though? I have not. It's, it's Somebody did a comparison between How I Met Your Mother and Friends, and the, the points of comparison that they picked and chose, of course, to make it you know, obvious, were, like, spot on. Like, everything was, was perfect. You know, it's this group of, this group of exactly this tight, pairing of people and- who live in New York, spend most of their time drinking. You know, in, in Friends, they're drinking coffee, but in, you know, they're in the bar at yeah. How I Met Your Mother. You've got one pair that pair, you know, one of the, the two friends that pair off and get married and have a kid. And then you've got the other friends that, that hook up off and on and off and on and off and on that always have their thing going on, like Ross and Rachel and uh, Ted and Ted Robin. And, Ted and, Robin. Um, and then you've got the, the smooth womanizer guy. You've got Joey and you've got Barney. Barney. So, I mean, it's like, and then you've got the, the, the one who's the funniest out of all of them. You, you've got Chandler, who I always thought was hilarious. And uh, it's, uh, what's his name? Jason Siegel's character. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't remember the name. name. Yeah. But, uh, Marshall? Marshall. Marshall. Yeah. Thank you. Jesus. I know, I'm like, I know it's Erickson, right? So, um, Marshall Erickson. I that's latch, back. I latch on to the part of the name that's close to mine. That's all. So this is their last oh. season, right? This is yeah. their last season. Yes, and New Girl's back. back. Yes, yes I've oh. seen New Girl. I love that I'm show. caught up on I that now. New Girl. That show is absolutely one of the best comedies on TV right now. Funny part is, though, I'm watching New Girl, and then I went back to watch uh, Law & Order's SVU uh, things, and Nick... Who's on New Girl was one of the suspects on <laughs> the SVU. Yeah, it was ridiculous. He had like a beard and everything. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's funny while looking back at some of the because there's so many Law and Order shows and there's so many CSI shows that almost any actor you see, like I'll look at something on TV and I'll see somebody. I'm like, I vaguely remember that person. I'll pull up their IMDb, IMDb page yep. and I guarantee every single one of them has been on either a Law and Order or a CSI or both. Sometimes all of them. <laughs> I actually have something to blow all your guys' minds. Okay, has anybody watched uh, True Blood? Okay, so never mind. I'm not going to blow any. I, 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 <laughs> you can still say I've, it, though. I've anyway, heard of it. Okay, <laughs> so there's a guy in it. He plays a Viking. His name is Eric on the show. Okay. Um, basically, we're watching awesome uh, name. Zoolander. Zoolander's on... Netflix right now. He yeah. is one of the male models. Oh, oh yeah. That, awesome. gets, that gets killed in Carmel the Gasoline Loco Fighter. Frappuccino. Yeah, it's great because you see him and like you see him in True Blood and he's like bulked up and then you see him in Zoolander he's very like skinny and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's bulked up, bro. He broke up. <laughs> he bulked up. All right. Well, good to say. Oh, what else have you watched this week? Um, well, oh, Aaron's just saying he kind of, uh, it, uh, blah, 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 blah. he says it's kind of like Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is back. Oh, I've never actually seen a single episode of that show. The League Netflix. is back. Yeah, I've, I've never seen, seen an episode of that show. That's a good show, but I'm not caught up on the new season yet. Mm-hmm. Um, Tosh.0 oh is back. I, I Key missed. and Peele is back. Yes. South Park's back. Ooh. South Park, Key and Peele. You've never seen Keen? Oh, my God. Oh, I've never it's heard of it. funny, man. Never it'll be great. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Did you see that? You, you saw it? I love that one. It'll be great. What? Liam Neeson and Bruce Willis. 
Oh, no. They, they did a new one. Oh, they did a new one? They, we're talking about all about Batman. I have to send oh, it to you. Oh, shit. Okay, I have to see that one. Um, what else is back? Newsroom just ended. Okay. Mm. Yeah, oh. I missed the second season yeah, of that. So good. Uh, I saw to get caught up on Game of Thrones. I've been watching because now I have Hulu and there's a bunch of shows on there. So I did check out uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh, it's you know what? It's pretty good. First episode, been first that episode too. was a little rough. I did like all the characters except for I don't like the one girl who seems to be a goody two shoes. Like I don't think she has any like personality his, like yet. Like his, his partner. Yeah, his kind of Andy partner. Sandberg's but the partner. second episode was really good with the penis pretty, thing. Though. And then uh, I gave oh, Dad's yeah. a shot. <laughs> I watched Dad's for the pilot episode. The pilot episode was okay. The second episode was a lot better because then they started giving their dad like pot brownies. That's that's right. And that's that right. that was pretty amusing. So that's by Seth MacFarlane. So it, it's a pretty good. But then the one episode I checked out, I still have to watch season, the second episode, but Soupy Hollow. Yeah. It, it, the first ep- it's, it's, <laughs> like, it, I want to kind of just see where it goes. Because I'm like, I'm like, they got a good idea, but I don't know if they're going to execute it very well. The idea is cool i guess i'm just kind of not on board with it i mean you're taking this classic character and you're bringing it to like modern times well they did that with sherlock, <laughs> sherlock Holmes. but <clears throat> i haven't seen two different i shows. haven't seen sherlock so. what what <laughs> yeah what the yeah, it's wrong with you I'm sorry. What? oh my Fuck god you. dude netflix you guys, seriously it's you guys, available you guys can hit instant me instant streaming you guys can hit me no break. i don't want to hit you i want you to watch the show i will i don't want you to be scared of watching the show because Eric, you take over the hit. show we're watching sherlock yeah. okay yeah. You, you guys see you later <laughs> um no seriously watch it no you I, will absolutely I definitely love will. it it's dude, all my seriously. cue um, and even elementary it's not as good as sherlock i will not even close to sherlock mm-hmm. but it's a fun show it's not that bad. It's actually an entertaining it's show. A piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not covering the microphone very well, Stephen. You're not I like, at all. I like what they did with it. How they made Watson like Lucy Liu. They made her female yeah. character. I think that's well. They had to do something cool. different because basically, I don't know if they, you know, I would somebody, just made Sherlock. Black. It was one of those things where two people just had the same idea at the same time. Like, hey, let's bring Sherlock Holmes back, but in modern day. And then they're like, oh crap, this, yeah, this these guys in Britain did it way better already. So now what do we do? I know. Lucy Liu. Should do, America BBC. should make their own version of Doctor Who. But the thing with Sherlock is you've got six <laughs> episodes. <laughs> They'd be utter shit. I know. It, it would be utter shit. It, so bad. it basically it'd be, would. It'd be yeah. great. I mean, it's the same thing that they tried to make an American Top Gear. Yeah, and it's still being pro- like it's, it's still, still being going. produced. It's still going. Why though? Because obviously they're getting they're getting the who's the watching this shit. It. I mean, seriously, I tried to watch an episode. I tried to give it a good shot. Probably fucking the Australian in, in version of Top Gear. Is right head and shoulders Top above. Gear, we're going to be able to put another <laughs> shrimp on the barbie <laughs> eh? yeah, as uh, Hugh Jackman has sex with another man. No, the the Australian version of Top Arkansas Gear is head and shoulders no, Arkansas, above Arkansas, offense. The the American version. It's still not up to par with the with the original, I'll tell but you, it's Arkansas. way better. You are a. Fa- I like how I became uh, <laughs> Australian. <laughs> I was Australian, and now I'm JFK. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't you know what happened. You should not watch Top Gear in America. <laughs> I so. do support America, but not that. <laughs> but not I also American was shot Top in Gear. the head. Yes. Marilyn Monroe sucked my dick. Speaking of that, they're what? coming out with a a fucking uh, JFK movie. Oh, Another shit, one? Can I play him? Back it's, it's and got, to the left. It's got Paul Back Giamatti in it. And to the left. Who's Paul Giamatti? Back and to the left. Continue. Okay. Back and to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen JFK with yeah. Kevin Costner? Fuck, dude. Oh, I think just, like, I should five play minutes, Back JFK. and to the left. Back and oh, to I the left. This, that. It's not what you can do for your country, <laughs> but if you can have sex with Marilyn Monroe back and get and away from it. I would. I did it back to the left and to the right, and then I spun it. It was fantastic. I stuck it in and wiggled it around a bit, did you? And then I had some chatter. Yeah, this one's uh, got Paul Giamatti in it, and uh, it's it's really mainly about like. Did uh, drink any fucking Merlot? I don't know. It's about the shooting with like you know like Lee Harvey Oswald and all that stuff. Yeah. So it looks pretty cool. Um, I, yeah. Why would you focus on any other part of his presidency? Seriously. What uh, did else did I do? Because he did nothing it. else. Space program. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Where has that gotten us today? We sent a man to the moon, and I had moon sex with Marilyn Monroe. Moon, ooh, moon sex. Look, look at the moon. Now look back and to the left. Do you see that? That's it, JFK and Marilyn Monroe. Doing the moon doing sex. Doing the moon sex. Hashtag. Now, uh, so do you guys have anything else you want to discuss about uh, TV? About television? What else I'm watching? Well, we could talk about... Uh, I, know I watch we do, a lot of shit. I know we do have a couple of things in the show notes, but if we do want to actually talk about what we all want to talk about, last Sunday was the second to last show of... Breaking Bad. Fucking Mad yes. Men. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Walking Dead. <laughs> Mad what? No! It was um, the Walking JFK's. 
Just, a, it, just a forewarning to everybody out there. Bad, yo. This is going to be a spoiler-filled segment. If you are Spoilers, not bitch. caught up on Breaking Bad, close your ears. Do not listen. Because we will say this. The final episode will be premiering this Sunday. Two days from now. Two days from now. Two days so, from now. The whole story So if you're not caught ends. up, get caught up because oh, it's fantastic. Man. So what we want to talk about is what we felt about this uh, week's episode and what our predictions are our for the Our predictions. Yes. Yeah, what we think is going to happen. And the next week, after we... We watch it, we can come back and see who was the closest. And whoever was the closest will get a blowjob. From Marilyn Monroe. No, from that weird guy (laughs) out in the corner of Dunlap and 17th Street. Why are you guys looking around here? We're not even near there. (laughs) I'm like, what's going on here? Uh, but yes, last week's Man. episode was uh, was pretty awesome. It what, was not was as action packed. I forget what the title was. I Kinsia, think it was uh, Granite. Oh, Kinsia. Granite Slate or something Kinsia. like that. Keeps the year. It's the fifteenth episode. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, Gran- Granite. Granite Slate. Yeah, Granite something Slate. like that. Um, and it was uh, it was a great episode. It was a fantastic freaking episode. It's one of his friends. It's one of his friends. <laughs> Yeah, say it in the microphone so everybody can hear. Well, one of my friends it was is hanging out at the studio, and our unofficial intern was like, "Who the fuck is here?" <laughs> yeah, well, she came Makes in sense. with her bottle of blow. And hey, that, so. come say hi. Bottle of blow. Hi. No, Wait, get up on the mic. There we go. Come on, bulk up, bro. Hello, people. <laughs> Do you watch Breaking weak. Bad? No. Oh, no. What? Hell no. The less funny weed. No, oh, no, totally different, totally different story. Anyway, no, it's a better Weeds. It's not even close to Weeds. Weeds is its own thing. It's a funny show. It was not drama. And when they tried to do drama, they did it poorly, and it sucked. We already know when we make the socially awkward movie, Brian Cranston's going to play me. So. Hell yeah. Oh. He's going to play somebody. I don't care. He'll play all three of us. Who's He'll in? do it digitally. He'll do it digitally. <laughs> who's going who's gonna to play me? Brian Cranston. I just said, all three of us. Damon Wayans Jr.? Why the fuck would you want that? No, I was going to go with Orlando... Orlando we'll get that, Bloom? We'll get no, that guy who no, no. plays... The other Orlando guy. Oh, dude, we'll get Winston guy. from New Girl. We'll get the guy who plays Winston from New Girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Breaking Bad. Yes. We were on topic here yes. for a moment. Can we? Can we please? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Matthew walks away. Anyway, so like, uh, you guys. Yeah, so this episode was a little slow, but it did have a lot of good bullet well, points. I wouldn't say <sighs> bullet points. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I wouldn't necessarily say slow compared to last week's episode. Yes, because not as much happened, but what did happen was freaking amazing. I yeah, mean, but they're building up for this episode. Yeah, so which oh, I'm no. still trying to figure out how they're going mean, to finish it, you know? That's oh, why we got to do our predictions. Yeah, exactly. So you start out, obviously, you see Walt's gotten away. Mm-hmm. He, he, he's ridden in the back of an empty propane tanker truck. Yeah, that was From crazy. Albuquerque to freaking New Hampshire. Yep. Can you imagine how uncomfortable that would be? Actually, it's a pretty just, good ride. You just, you the fucking, view is wonderful. Evidently, they actually had written in the script a, a montage scene of him riding in the back of this truck, getting sick, getting nauseous, throwing up, you know, just having a horrible time of it. Uh, but it just didn't fit into the rest of the... It didn't, time-wise, they weren't able to get it into the rest of the episode, so it was never actually filmed. Yeah. But it was written into the script originally. Then you've got some really powerful scenes where you see uh, Walt just wallowing in abject loneliness. He's been out in this this cabin for a month or more, and you know the only person he's seen is once a month, the guy who's, whose name is Ed, by the way. They don't actually yeah, they don't never, never say his name in the thing, but he is credited in the title and everything. As I was Ed. glad we finally got to see who he was. <clears throat> right. Oh, and I love that actor, too. I've seen him in other things. Mm-hmm. Um, so we see Ed... And, and he comes and visits, and, and Walt's like so desperate for somebody just to hang out with that he pays him $10,000 to stay for an hour yeah. and play some cards with him. I mean, it's like, oh, holy crap, he's dude. desperate. Yeah. So you know he's, he's about to snap. I mean, you saw him, like, right from the very beginning, he's like, I'm, I'm out of here. And then he, like, the prospect of walking eight miles in the snow, trying to carry stuff, then he was like, Ugh. And then that phone call with Junior. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I thought, like, at first I was like, oh, this is going to be, like, a positive phone call. And then... I, I had a feeling, because, you know, the, because last episode, the way Junior flipped on him, you know, he was... Basically, Walt was Junior's hero. He was his guy. Crushed him. And to find out Ruined that he was doing world. these things, 
it yeah it completely broke him and so he wants nothing to do with Walt now and, and Walt's in this position now where he's like freaking out cause he's like it's all gonna be for nothing yeah. everything I did was for my family and now they don't even want it got to see the principal again yeah oh that's never a bad thing yeah, it's never a bad, a bad thing, thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like girl we haven't seen you since like season two but uh, then what I would say was the highlight moment of the episode the one thing that just jumped out as holy f***ing shit Heisenberg's back well, yeah, you see that when he when he gets his hat on and everything, he's like, No, hey, I'm hey. talking about the very end of the episode. Oh, no, oh yeah, I, when I, he's think, just like, uh, I think you're going towards oh, when more you see, with Jesse. Oh, when 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 they're having when you see that interview on yeah. TV and they're like, Walter White is dead because he was. I like, know he's dead. He now I can't think about this Heisenberg he guy. Was done. He was defeated, and then all of a sudden he saw that and it sparked his fire, and he was right fucking back. I, 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 yes, that or, was definitely a powerful moment, ooh. but that wasn't the moment I was thinking of. That's my prediction. As he goes to that company. And just fucking gets rid of them. Just fucking goes totally postal. Because if you matter. think about it, that's kind of the spark that set him off in the first place. Right. Was the dis like he he had he that. felt that yeah that was his part of he his told baby the story about and then it, it was sold, ripped. He away sold from that him. off for what five thousand dollars uh-huh. he said he got and then and now it's a multi billion dollar company and then they go on TV and say that he had nothing to do with the company other than the name that the name and he was only half responsible for that even <laughs> so i that's i'm gonna that was definitely a I powerful well moment it now but i have a feeling he's gonna go and you think he's gonna that's go why you have trash gray matter yep. he's gonna go lay waste to gray yep. matter um no the the scene that i thought was a little bit that scene was powerful i'm not denying that whatsoever but the scene that was really powerful for me was when they you know again if you're still listening to this and you haven't watched the episode Huge spoilers here. Yeah, I've, I've already said spoilers like. Six yeah, times. I know, but I'm just making sure because I don't want anybody to be like, oh, I thought maybe you wouldn't spoil that. But oh, anyway, we are going to spoil. We're going to spoil the fuck out of this shit. shit. Um, I had some milk and then went spoiled. <laughs> yeah, and then we dumped if it. If the milk went out too long, you and then I fucked it. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that scene that when they've got scene. after yeah. Jesse That's tries nasty. to escape and nearly gets away with it. Too. Oh my god! Until like, you see that video day, camera and they almost like, oh. made it. Oh yeah, yeah, when he's like trying to like he's about to climb the fence and then he like turns around and they're just all there and like he's just like just kill me, just kill me and they're like. Fuck no, you're valuable to us alive. You're cooking meth for us that's way better than we can do. So they take 96%. him to his ex-girlfriend's house. What's her name? Maria. 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 They take him to Maria's house and make him watch from the car down the street as they shoot her in the fucking head. And fucking Todd, man. Todd, that son man. of a bitch is cold as fucking ice, dude. Unless he's around that girl that he likes, the meth girl. What's yeah. your name? I I, can, I, I don't remember. I, can't, I can never remember. L- Linda, her name. Lisa, Linda, something like that. Lila, 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 Lilo, Lilo, and Let's just call her the methylene we'll girl. We'll just call her Lola. We'll call her Chemical Girl. Lola, Lola. But yeah, that scene where he's just like, I want you to know, this isn't personal. Bam! Like holy crap! And fucking Aaron Paul's acting in that scene. Yeah, it was fucking fucking broke. Amazing. I mean, he was just completely out of it, and they were doing. They were talking to him, and he said that was one of the hardest scenes of the entire series for him to film. And they said that he said that that was even harder than the scene previously. He said the hardest scene was the scene that he had filmed with um, with the girl dying in his bed uh, when Jane. Uh, Jane. Yeah, when Jane died, he said that scene was really hard to film. But he said this one was even harder. And I mean, you can see it. You can see he's just. He's grown so much as an actor. If you look back at the first season and Aaron Paul's acting in that first season, you're like, yeah, this is just a punk kid, and that's fine. He's, he's doing a good job of playing a punk kid. But that character has grown so deep, and the acting has gone right along with it. He's holding his own against Brian Cranston, who's fucking putting on a clinic every goddamn week. Not only that, but how far they've aged. Like this morning, they're doing the whole marathon right now. Mm-hmm. This morning, while I was eating my breakfast, getting ready for work, they have the episode on where. Um, the fly in the meth lab. <laughs> that was a great episode. And uh, Jesse looks so young. Even Walt looks so young. Yeah. You know, like it's. Uh, They've done a fantastic mm-hmm. job of showing how much this stress of what they're doing has they, aged them. Yeah. Yes. No. The everything about this show is freaking fantastic. The writing, the acting, the production value, the makeup, everything. I mean, they make look. Yeah, you know, look at Walt in his little cabin in New Hampshire, and he looks sick. He looks just withered away wasted away and just falling off sick yeah and um 
you know that obviously they had to film that like around the same time as he's looking basically normal yeah. as well. So he, the makeup department gets huge credit for that as well. But yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. Best as out, for best outstanding drama, yeah, yeah. Give me a word. Um, as for my predictions, my first prediction is going to be that Jesse is going to take out all them fucking skinheads. Oh, you think so? I think Jesse's going to fucking lay waste to Ooh, that whole skinhead so little village. They Whatever they've got, their little compound they've got him yeah. on, he's going to fucking lay waste. Do you I think, think it's he's going to burn like, that shit to the ground. He's going to do it, and it's going to be like a little showdown between him and Todd? I think it'll be... Well, I, I think there will be a, a, a minor showdown between him and Todd. Ultimately, I think the ultimate showdown is still going to be between Walt and, and Jesse. Jesse. That's what I think the ultimate showdown. Because I think what's going to happen is Walt's going to show up. Here's my prediction. Is Walt's going to show up to that little compound or whatever because he's already said his goal is to go kill all those skinheads and take his money back. He, I think he's going to show up there just after Jesse's burned that shit to the ground and it's going to be them two facing off. And... Um, from there, man, I don't fucking know. One of them is not going to walk out alive. Possibly both of them. But I don't know. What about you? What do you think? I, I mean, I can I can be on board with that. I just like that final like scene was so significant, and maybe it was just a um, like it it was just flashing back and kind of just showing that like Walter is was kind of weak and in the eyes of all these different people, and it just set him off. But I, I don't know. He left so abruptly that, like, I just have a feel like I felt like he wanted to go and just fucking murder those people. But I don't know. I mean, what are you thinking? Well, I have actually two things that I just thought about. <clears throat> Whether uh, Eric's right, where uh, Jesse's going to lay waste to all those guys and Walter's going to show up, or Walter's going to show up and they're going to and they're going to be like a like a gun battle either going on or he's going to help them. But I have two predictions though because I realize he picked up the the ricin. Yeah. And my one prediction is is either he puts the ricin in the batch of meth, so it goes bad. So anybody who buys the meth, does he have enough? To, I mean, he could. I, thought, I, think I mean, it would probably he, ruin one batch, but would it be enough to actually kill people, uh, it, dilute it, it because probably, they're making fifty, sixty. What are they making? Fifty pounds at a time right now is what they're be, doing. It could be enough to kill all the the neo Nazis. Exactly, the neo Nazis who try it, and or. I don't know if they're they it, possible. Though. Or they're going to lay waste to everybody, and Ryan Cranston and uh, Jesse Pinkman, or Mr. White, and Miss, uh, yeah, I love how he still calls him Mr. White. <laughs> he still calls yeah, still. <laughs> Mr. White. I have a feeling like he might show up to Jesse and show, give him the rice and go, look, I never poisoned Brock with it. Well, and, he, no, no. Jesse knows that he didn't poison yeah. him with the rice. Because they told him, he goes, they, evidently it wasn't rice, and he, it was that the lily of the valley or whatever. Did they tell him? Because he Yeah, no, they told him. He was the one who told Walt that, and then, you know, at the end of that episode, they showed that he had the lily of the valley in his backyard. Yeah. Um, so Jesse knows that he didn't use the rice on him. I'm, I don't know if he knows that he still has it. I think he's assuming it because he knows that it was taken from him. Okay. So I'm sure he assumes that, that Walt still has it. I'm thinking that the ricin is probably destined for uh, the girl. Uh, what's her name? What is her name? Lydia? Lydia. Like That's might, what it is. Might put Lydia. It in, put it in her tea. Yeah, she exactly. Because she's always time. with that fucking tea. He's going to put some in her stevia. So she pours it in her fucking self. That's what he's going to do. That's because they're always pointing out that she's always on that fucking stevia bullshit. You know, that could be because she has been kind of a significant character this season. She's been she's, a she's, she came out of, bitch. She came, well, but she came out of nowhere. <laughs> yes. Like well, it, well, she was always like supposedly in the background of Gus's business. She was the, yeah, but you the never saw her. You no, never no, saw no, her. because you didn't have to because she wasn't. She was just kind of in the back end. Gus had a well-oiled machine going on until Walt fucked that shit up for him big time. Like blew his face off. That was so <laughs> rad. Oh, that yeah, was, oh, that episode, dude. That awesome dude, when he's like comes out and like puts his glasses, like fixes his tie and then half, half falls over so. dead. Oh, I can't yeah. believe that when he fi when he actually walked out, you're like, no effing way, you're he like, survived that. And then exactly. when he just shows his front of his face where he's just like, like, oh, okay. <laughs> he just falls over, you're just like, oh, oh man. Oh, I know, yeah. I, I was actually, I got to watch that episode again recently with my wife as she was watching it the first time. And so I got to see it. She was like, how did he survive? Oh. <laughs> now, so actually, that's that funny, moment funny, like, point. and then do you remember, what's his name? Was it Tuco? Tuco, yeah. Tuco, yeah. Tuco was crazy. Tuco, Tuco was fucking was crazy, crazy. As a motherfucker. He was Dude. a good character, though. Oh, yeah, I remember who you worked for. What did you say? <laughs> like, they, you think they're stupid? Like, you just, like, freaked out on that guy and beat him to death. Yeah. And there was, like, freaking out. Like, save him. I'm like, you just beat him to death. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. He's like, I'm not that kind of doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm, I, just, 
I yeah. took math, man. What the? What do you want me to do for this Shit. guy? I, you know, I'm definitely gonna have to go back and rewatch this whole series again. Hmm? I'm not really one to go back and rewatch series. This but one's this one that's one, worth it. I definitely want to just to freaking relive everything. It's, it's going. It's going it's, away too soon. It's. it's I know. Done too it soon. does seem like it's too short. I mean, like five epi- Like five seasons. Like man. Would you want them to? I think they could have pulled at least two more seasons out. Yeah. You think? I mean, I'm, well, I guess I'd want it to go on for. I mean, they could. But, they could get it. They could let his cancer go back into remission, right? Get an extra season out of that. I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, on one hand, I'm like, I think they're at the completion of their story. I, yeah. I do believe they're at. I heard where ben, he wanted to be with his story. I heard Ben Gillian had a really hard time trying to close up. Oh, I, I can imagine. I can imagine. I mean, when you write this world, I mean, he's created this entire world. Um, and yeah, your roommate, our unofficial intern, had brought up Weeds as a as a similar show. And it's kind of interesting that this show, Breaking Bad, almost didn't get made. Because of Weeds. Because weed. Vince Gillian saw that uh, that Weeds is being made and, and thought it might be too similar. Nancy Bot went, Weeds is a good show, Weeds too. is a fun show. I love Weeds. It's a fun show. But when they try to be too serious, that's when that show fails. Yeah. When that show's being funny, it's great. Yeah. But when it got too serious, that's when it was like, I don't buy it. With Breaking Bad, it's been serious from the get-go, and they do it well. So, so uh, that's our predictions. Do you have any more more to add to, to our predictions? Or are we I don't ready know. To, I'm uh, trying to think. Or, or this is my other prediction. Okay. Right. Is uh, Jesse cooks a bad piece of meth, and uh, the meth goes out, and that's how the zombie apocalypse happens. Oh, there you go. And we turn and we, into we, we, Walking we Dead. Walk it right into the Walking Dead. Yes. Well, obvious, obviously, <laughs> it's it's probably going to come down to Walt and Jesse. It's got to. It's got to. I mean, you got to like, think that that's where it's going. If you going. build it all up to this, like, and then not have that to, it's got to be. They're they're going to be on screen together for sure, for sure. You oh no, that, that's what that's why my prediction what if they just is. Hug it out? <laughs> they, just, they just show up on screen like everybody's dead and they're just or, standing there and, or both of them and go. Jesse's like you know what Maybe I the- forgive you buddy and they, they hug and they sit down on the couch and have a beer together like in that one episode mm-hmm. when they were cooking <laughs> yeah, because if you think about it, Jesse really has nothing. Well, has, Jesse has really nothing else to lose except for Brock and Walter. Already, his family has pretty much written him off. Yeah. So. Yeah, Walt is at this point. He wants to get his money to his family. Unless. Because he he's already written himself off as dead. Unless Jesse's going to take Brock. That's true. Oh uh, well, yeah, I guess he's got to now. He's the only one. He's. Yeah. Brock, right now, Brock has nobody, but it, maybe family I don't know extended family or something yeah so they never really sh- they, they never got into yeah. that so you don't so know maybe maybe Jesse's gonna get a hold of the rice and use it on Walt and then Jesse is gonna get Brock and, and live happily ever and go off mm-hmm. and, do and then what happens to Walter's family move to New Hampshire that? well Walter's family is, I mean it's it it, it kind of is what it is now like I mean Walt uh, Flynn is back in school so like their life's kind of already going. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah, it seems to me that uh, Walt did a good job with that phone call from the, from two episodes ago where he basically said, you know, he basically got her off the hook for the most part. Like, they're still questioning her, like, where is he, where is he? And she's like, I don't know, guys, seriously. Um, I think the phone call to the school was a bad idea because obviously it yeah. blew up in his face. Uh, but ultimately, but it was desperate. But ultimately, that even lends more credence to the fact that the, they don't know where he is. That he had to go through that much subterfuge to even call them on the phone. That he called him at work, claiming he was her, his aunt. Yeah. Um, you know, to get to even get him on the phone because he knew that he wouldn't even, you know, he wouldn't be able to pick up the phone otherwise. And then he just calls the, you know, he was about to give up. He was this close to giving up, and then decided, you know, then, like you said, he saw that piece on uh, Grey Matter. I just, I think they're done with the Grey Matter angle. Yeah. I, personally. Yeah, I know. It was just like watching it was like, oh, yeah, like, because you kind of forgot about it. Mm-hmm. And then when they brought it back, but maybe that was like, they brought it back to just. That definitely it, brought him back, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It, it sparked that, no, yeah. fuck this. This is not going to be for nothing. I'm going to do something. Um, I just, I think the gray matter angle is done from there, but who knows? I mean, they, I couldn't have predicted what's already happened, so. 
Who the hell knows at this point? All I know is this last episode is going to tie up all the loose ends. That yes, like I know better. they've well they've said it like Vince has said it like this. Unless they pull a lost. I don't think they're going to. Wait, pull wait a, a minute. Lost. So they were dead the whole time? yeah they were dead the whole time like what? like no like you it's uh what's his face uh. <clears throat> Basically, what happens is uh, it ends, and then uh, like it ends with Walter dying, and then uh, he all of a sudden you go like he sees him go oh, and wakes up and whatnot, and then he's just getting his uh, IV drip from the uh, medication <laughs> the, for the his chemo. very first. The whole thing uh, the was first, a dream. Yeah, the whole thing was just a dream. And then the it pans talk, out, and you see that that whole dream was taking place inside a snow globe, and some autistic kid was all no, no, we're not. No, I was just saying like it pans I would out, fucking and then scream, and then he goes, uh, he goes to <laughs> Walter, he goes, oh, good news, Obamacare's passed, so you don't have to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> It's relevant. <laughs> like that's topical. I like that. I like that. All right. Well, so are we? Uh, are we done uh, spoiling Breaking Bad for those yeah, who I haven't so. watched it for for this evening? Because I think next episode, uh, that, uh, next week's episode is just going to be the Breaking Bad. It's just this series. Yeah. It's just so good. Yes. You yes, know, there's uh, there's been a lot of other shows that I've watched that have come to a series finale, but this one is just it, it's so. I don't know. Like I just I love it so much. You know. It it is just a fantastic, fantastic. Or you know, it'd be a real kick in the butt if all of a sudden the next episode goes the air and just comes up and says canceled. <laughs> You're like oh, no. What? <laughs> or just like instead of like Sopranos, like cut off like right in the end of the scene, like even it just like the opening credits, like it just starts the opening credits and then cuts off. But you like even with Sopranos, what? Sopranos was such a good. I've fucking never series. actually seen it. Really, it was so good and yeah and like. <laughs> No, he's he's shaking his Yeah, head. my parents really liked it too. I haven't seen it yet. And that final episode, I, like, I, I do want to watch it. I just haven't gotten around. Oh, to do it. it. And then that final episode, you're watching it, and then like all of a sudden it just ended, and you're like, "What?" You're like, "Fuck you!" Like I got pissed. I got totally pissed. That's off. how I was with Lost. But then I was like, well, I spent all that time watching Lost, and I was like, "Wait, so they were in what the? So they're all dead? They've been dead? What the fuck?" I'm kind of nervous going into this final episode. Because I don't want it to be like that, but right. I have a feeling like I'm going to be satisfied. I I really hope so. I think I just I think I am. I, I think, think, think they've done like, a good job of keeping the story tight enough. There's not so many offshoots of the story geez, that it's going to be that hard to tie it all together. No so I think they're going to be able to wrap things up in one episode because I, they have been yeah. able to pack a lot of stuff in episode. Because if you think about it, I hope they've no never really too. expanded it too far beyond the original core group of of people. I mean, you've added you know Lydia and then Todd and his his people, but other than that, who do you have? You've got Walt, you've got his family, you've got you know, and and they've gotten rid of some people that uh, used to be part of it. So obviously. I think they'll be able to tie it in because they don't have such I an extensive cast. With Lost, they had so many they had so many offshoots. Like everybody had their own story, had all these different stories, and they're like, the "How smoke, are you going to end it all?" Oh, they were all dead. The Smoke Monster the had fuck? his own spinoff and everything. It was like, yeah, what the fucking Smoke Monster? Like, it's seriously. time for Smoke Monster and his friends. The only the only the character I liked on the show was Ben. Yeah, that guy was cool. He's on that show. Uh, that's another Person show that just interest. came back. Person of interest. I yeah. like that show. I didn't like the way they ended last season, but they've come back and it's still fun. So, no, hey, what's gonna happen with Breaking Bad is he's gonna walk outside and get abducted by aliens. And then. <laughs> <laughs> then you hear the X Files theme, and you're like, well, I'm just gonna uh, have huh? yeah, I'm just gonna have it end like very weirdly or something. Like that. <laughs> I mean, we, it, you know, it's like we can make all these predictions, but it's the two days, guys. Two it's, days. It's going to be amazing, and uh, we'll obviously next Man, week we'll I be having wait. just as long a segment, probably talking about the finale and the whole. <laughs> we could do the whole two hours. I mean, then, yeah, I'm sure. We'll start, I'm sure we probably we'll, could. We'll we can make next our, week the Breaking Bad episode. <laughs> then we're going to make. Then we're going to make the uh, Breaking Pod. <laughs> uh, we should probably check that name. Make sure it's not already taken. <laughs> How about Pod Bad? <laughs> we, 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 talking Bad. Oh wait, no, that's already taken. No. Um, but uh, yeah. So, do you guys have any final thoughts on Breaking Bad before we cut to break? Awesome. Uh, if you don't watch, they should. This. Make, they you know what it should do. It should end, and then like it ends on a cliffhanger. You go, wait a minute, that was the last episode, and then they have a movie to finish everything off. Mm. 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 They could get Nathan Fillion exactly to be. <laughs> 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 yeah, to bring him in and like Nathan Fillion. He's like, why am I here? You're like, yeah. what? <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Because um, Brian Cranston said, fuck no, I'm not doing this shit. All I got to say is, w- watch, watch, the, watch this ser- like watch this series. As much as like, whatever you hear Take about four or cooking five days meth out or whatever, of your life. just watch it. It deserves it's to be watched. It's not about the cooking of the meth. No, it's, it's not. not. It's, it's so about, much more. It's just amazing. You know what I think it is? And here's, here's my theory on the entire series. 
I think the entire series is Vince Gillian exploring how individuals face their own mortality. Think about it. Every oh, major character you I completely see agree. how they face the thought that they're going to die. Almost everybody and who's died in that show has had, everything. Yeah, you get obviously you got Walt who's dying of cancer and he gets the advance notice. So he, what does he do because of that? You see everybody who has this like moment before they die, and it's just you. You get to see like uh, like the scene we talked about with uh, Gus. You see how he reacted. Like he knows he's dead already, yeah. but yet he still wants to adjust. It. He still wants to look proper. He mm-hmm. still wants you know. So that's how he faces his mortality. I think the entire series is about individuals and how they face mortality. That's well, even like the the episode I was talking about this morning, the episode with the fly. Yeah. That episode is totally centered around just a freaking obsession. Yes. Like that whole time is him trying to kill a fly. <laughs> but it's such a good episode. Yes, it is. Because the underlying tone of it is it, this is Walter White and his like it you know, there's like all these hidden agendas in like there's a couple of show, There's a couple of episodes it where it shows it's his like indescribable focus when he gets focused on something. How he does not stop until that is complete. Like when he when he starts working on his house, he gets the yep. the water heater, and then he gets and under the, the mold house, under and the he says, "There's mold. There's rot here. There's rot here." And he's yep. like, for days, he's just you know ripping out rotted wood and putting new stuff in. I mean, and you just see how focused he is on it. He but like literally stops that? for like five seconds, takes two bites, and is like, "Back to it." The thing about that is, is I can relate to that. Yeah, because I'm the same way. If there's Wait, you're like, cooking math with a high school no, kid? No, no. <laughs> like with the mold, if I like at my house, if I were to see something that is potentially a problem, all my focus would be it going into making that right and fixing it as quick as, uh, as possible. Right. And I think you can relate to me on that level just because we have those OCD atten- yeah, like true, tendencies. Yeah. Like if I see something that's a problem, I can't function until it's okay. Taking care of you. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, so... I don't know. That's just another level of why I'm so well, attached to Well, you see with Walt, series. especially, his, I think his OCD kind of came on because of his cancer diagnosis. Oh. I think he's kind of like, anything that I can focus on other than the fact that I'm dying. And so he picks, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to focus everything on it because I can't think about dying or chemo or anything else because I'm killing this fly or because I'm fixing this house or because I'm doing this or I'm cooking this meth or I'm making money. A really cool thing that um, I was just listening to, the Indoor Kids, the last episode that they just released, um, they brought in that Walter, whenever he kills somebody, he picks up a trait from them. Yeah, I, I have noticed that. He, like with some, Gus, some things. He, he would never have ice in his drinks. Mm-hmm. And then after he killed Gus, he would get ice in his drinks. Um, after killing Tuco, uh, oh shit, I can't remember what they said. It was It was another thing like... No, I, I've I've heard this theory before. Like all these, there yeah, are some certain of like, things. He, um, and he takes on a trait from yeah. the people that he that he kills, which another reason why I want to go back and rewatch is yeah. because you can go back and uh, pick up those little things. Yeah, little things. It's definitely it's definitely worth a watch. I even say it's worth two or three watches. Like seriously, I've it's, seen the series through twice now, and it's not freaking it. amazing. It's yeah, if you're not watching definitely it, well worth it. If you're not watching it, watch it. If you don't plan on watching it, go kill yourself. <laughs> Like, it's on wow. Netflix. There's no excuse. Like, Just everybody everybody has Netflix. Not everybody. And if you don't have Netflix, it's out there. You don't have Netflix? Okay. No, I have Trust Netflix. Yeah, it's out there. But Pat does have Netflix. Well, I mentioned Breaking Bad. But Pat doesn't watch TV. TV. That's true. Oh, well, you do listen that to the guy. show. I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Well, we, I think it's time to cut to break for Never. this evening. We've got the Fro Show episode number 31 coming up. Why don't you tell us a little bit about tell what we're what, to... Tell us what our methamphetamine kids can listen to. Yeah. Fro Show number 31. Like, don't even listen to it. Just go watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> never never tell our audience not to listen to the show. No, you yeah. totally can listen to it. I appreciate everybody that does, but like Breaking Bad is like, oh my God. It's just like okay. That. So everybody, here's uh, the these these pro are, show, these episode are number that 31. Matt, Matt wishes was in Breaking yes. Bad. <laughs> Here we go. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back in just a bit. Uh, man, Breaking <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hello, Hello everybody, everybody and welcome back, back. for first, first time. Welcome, welcome to an all new episode of The Bro Show. Being brought, brought to you proudly on the Four Eyed Radio Network. As always, I'm your host, host Matthew Renfro. This is my, my weekly independent music, music goodness for your ears show. show. This is episode, episode number, number 31. And, and uh, last, last week you might have been wondering, hey Matt, where the heck was the show? Well, I wanted to take a week off last week. I've been really busy, but you know, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Grand Theft Auto 5 came out last week, and that's what I was doing. You can hate me or or if, if you have played the game, the game then you might, might understand what I was going through. The game is massive. massive. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Rockstar, Rockstar Games, Games did, did a incredible job. And I just wanted to give them, them what they deserve. deserve. And, and that is a person, person putting, putting hours, hours into, into their game. game. And that was me. So uh, I took, I took a, week a week off to play the game. I'm sorry? Question mark? But I'm, but back, I'm back, and here I am. So, so what, what else can I give you an update on fantasy football? football. I, know I know you're dying to you know how I'm doing, doing on that. In both, in both leagues, I am one and two. two. So not, not the, best the best records, but, but hopefully come here, here in the upcoming week, weeks, I can turn, turn that around and get some positive wins and bring up my standing in both of those leagues. But we'll see. So, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, fall, it's officially it's fall, fall, and, and uh, uh, that, that means Pumpkin, Pumpkin Porter is here, here at, at um, I can't even think of the name, at, 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 at Fort Peach Brewery, duh, duh. it's, it's uh, one, one, one of my favorite, favorite breweries, breweries in the world, world I, guess. I guess, not that, not that I've frequented tons of them, them but it's definitely, definitely the best, best one in my opinion here in Arizona, so I went and purchased some six packs of Pumpkin Porter, there's seasonal beer, and it's wonderful, and it's Amazing, Amazing and it's great, great. and I'm just so happy. happy. And, and uh, the weather's finally cooling here over, over in uh, Arizona. This weekend, weekend it's, it's only supposed to be in the 80s, which is pretty, pretty rad. rad. So, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. goes. But, but enough, enough about me. How, how, how are you guys doing? doing? I, know I know you guys, you guys are dying, dying to tell me about, about your days and your life. And I'm all you, so you know, just scream out, and I'll be able to hear you guys. And I just, I really care, and I just want you to know that it's going to be okay. But, but. Just, just cheer up, Peter Parker. So, so should, we should we jump into the, the show? Should we do that? You guys, you guys want to hear some tunes? tunes? Okay, okay, we'll go, we'll go ahead and do that. First, First up, up, we have Indie Rockers, Rockers Whalers, Whalers from Austin, Austin Texas, Texas, with their, with their track, track Cheat on, on, on Each Other, and it's off their new EP entitled Paddle Easy.
track to get that sort of vibe going, going on. on. Bra, bra. So, so uh, uh, jumping, jumping up next, next on the show from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we have hip hop artist Yuri with his track Away. away. And this track, track is off his new album entitled Still Life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And, I, and I made the beat. No samples. Very, very proud. Uh, uh, self medicated. Self fitted. And I wouldn't give a damn if you never made it. Gotta, gotta grind hard. I'm doing work. Sick of both sheets. I'm putting purpose. That's why I beat. Don't even judge. Stable your breath because I don't give a fuck. Focus enough. Now they just talk. Those that be front, they got that block. Progress, work, 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 dream. I don't even know what pro me means. I ain't like the nigga no only green. I play the role that I'm supposed to be. I hold the key to my future. I got grown pants, no future. They know the name of they still dope. Fuck around and make me a wall. So, you already know the deal, bro. I kill foe. A legitimate chance. I wanna throw the bills in the van. And I wouldn't pull my homie for these beats. You get invited. All the rich, no more copy. You try to put in the lobby. You need to discipline, this work got motivation Go by the come and go, and it leads to more frustration So when you on a roll, keep the code like on a roll Gotta keep it honorable, even when dealing with lots of clothes My mom goes this way, I can't control it Lost in the haze, inhale some alone and hold it And if I deep 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 Like hold up, all this music like throw up. Don't show up if you already know that your show dog is gonna show enough. That's how it is. That's how it is. Ain't that a bitch? Them rappers say that's how I live. Thus I reply that that a shit. Acting can complain and that be exactly adjacent to all of that shit. Now that this time way look like if you something from the get go. I think you should like you just just getting gas like a gecko. I guess everyone is for gecko. My check. Keep grinding, doing some diamonds on my neck And I ain't too fit, so keep your issue keep your issue. But really dope, I do what I does You feel me for real, be what to do you just because I be the hell is you hard That you ain't here before, work Just writing and thinking, I'll do the weed and drinking But I ain't doing too much At least with the liquor, with the weed, you know what's what's up In the end, so don't give a fuck
that track, track make you feel good? good. Made, made me feel good, so I'm hoping make you guys feel good. So, uh, so uh, that's, that's going to do it for all the music on this episode. episode. So, we'll so we'll just go ahead and recap on the artist you heard. First, first up, we had Whalers. We then had Yuri, Yuri and there, there taking, taking it up in the rear. Or you shouldn't say that. There, there at, at the end of the end show, show, we had, had Neon bicycles. bicycles. Be sure, be sure to log, log on to my website at roshow.net. I haven't been updated in like four months. But you can do it anyway. And you can get information and links on our this place on previous episodes. And hopefully soon... New, new episodes, episodes of the show. show. And, and uh, if you would like, like to have your music played on the show, be sure to contact me at my website, my website or uh, my Facebook. Just search, just search for Show Podcast. podcast. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Matthew underscore Renfro and also on the Instagram at Matthew Renfro. And be sure to check me out on Instagram each Tuesday. I do a new album release pick and put photos of all the cover art of the albums and all that stuff in. People, people seem to like it. I've actually had some good feedback, good feedback on that, and uh, I, appreciate I appreciate that people appreciate what I'm doing. So be, so sure, be sure to check that out. And while you're at it, go ahead and log on to foreheadradio.com to check, to check out all the other shows and uh, content, content brought to you by the Forehead Radio Network. Network. You know, support the other shows like Kate Bros, 12A, Punchy Walls Reality, Appropriate, Inappropriate, and all the other people on the network and while, and while you're at it the arcade bros is actually, actually doing a uh, fundraising type event, event and it's for the uh, extra life campaign, campaign. Now, what now what it is is you go is to extra dash life dot org, org and you sign, and you sign up for the arcade bros team, team. And, and what happens, happens is on November, November 2nd of this, of this year, you play, play video games and, and you know, all the money, money raised, raised and uh, gets donated to the Phoenix Children's Hospital. Hospital. So it's for a good, good cause and uh, support, support one of the teams on the network. network. I am going to sign up and do as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. I will be back next week. And I do have a question, so I'm going to throw a question out there. My question to the world is, what decade do you think produced the best music? Now I'll throw that on my website and maybe on my website. I'll throw on my Facebook and Instagram. So I will read the answers next week. Again, what decade do you believe produced the best music? So until next week, stay classy out there. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a line. And I will talk to you guys next week. Next week. Bye. Bye. And we are back. Hello, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us during the break. Hope you enjoyed the Fro Show, episode number 31. Uh, as always, you can find uh, the Fro Show all by its lonesome if you go out to our Spreaker page at spreaker.com slash user slash fern. Click on shows, and you can find the Fro Show right there. You can also find it on foureyedradio.com. Yep. Uh, all the back episodes. He's got some great music out there. He's got really good taste in music, except when he's trying to convince me that uh, One Direction can actually sing. That's the only time when I doubt his musical ability. Um, but anyways, Eric, so... Uh, Eric, do you play an instrument? I used to play tuba. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? It has to do with a lot. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to fuck you in the ass? No, no, I most certainly do not. Dude, uh, what I would leave like... One Direction out of this. <laughs> Your daughter likes them. Just let them be. Yeah. So I noticed that you've got some uh, some notes. Yeah. Oh God, I hope not. I mean, she's gonna be so sad when she finds out they're all gay. I mean, she, it's they're just not, gonna break her heart. They're not all gay. You Only two of them have chlamydia. <laughs> they got yeah. They go from koalas or some bullshit. One, one of them, I th- one of them has got to be. But <laughs> why do you say that, man? Just playing the numbers. I don't know. Just playing the numbers. Kind of Boy like, bands always have one like, gay guy in them. At it, least minimum. I, Name three bands that have one gay guy in it. From NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. Beatles. Who was the gay one in Beatles? <laughs> I don't know. And how was that an old the verdict's thing? still out on Ringo, okay? Oh, don't hear <laughs> on Ringo. Do the Backstreet Boys really have a gay I movie? don't know. Yeah, I don't... Sure. I know Instinct does. Yeah, Instinct yeah. does, but yeah, Backstreet Boys had one too. Star Trek. Who was the gay one on Star Trek? George Decay. He's not gay. <laughs> he is way gay. No, that's just he a He is pl- gayer than gay. No, that's just a ploy. He's for as to get gay more. as it's, people who watch Glee. Oh, it's, sorry, sorry. It's sorry, just a, it's, it's our listeners out there who watch just, Glee. It's just a ploy for him to get more hits just, on Twitter. Oh, dang. Anyway, so uh, I, Steven, really, I noticed that you had some notes in here for the. I don't uh, think any of the Backstreet Boys are gay. Steve O's Comic Corner. Did you want to. Uh, I thought jump we were going to do our normal socially awkward professional. Oh, lady. that's right. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot we actually did have a socially awkward. <laughs> we're out of practice for one week, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, we don't even have a question. <laughs> we don't uh, do this. But we anymore. did actually have a question this week, so. 
It's time, time for the socially awkward, awkward question of the week. Brought to you by Amazon.com. Visit sociallyawkwardstudios.com. Click on the Amazon banner and you can shop like normal. Nothing costs a single penny more, but you can actually help out the Fern and the Socially Awkward Studios by doing so. You know what Eric should buy on uh, the Socially Awkward? Uh, a bib? Uh, he should buy a freaking like cleanup rag. A for... raincoat? I, no, what, what the heck, man? Sometimes this thing works perfectly and sometimes it just like explodes on my face. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. (laughs) It does happen from time to time. Oh, man, look at that. And then there's still some of it just But, yeah, the socially awkward version of the week was actually inspired by uh, Matthew Renfro from last week getting so angry at a man who seemed to have a disease of uh, showing up late is, what is the most ridiculous disease you have ever heard of? Um, Yes, what is the most ridiculous real uh, or quote-unquote real disease uh, that you've ever heard of? And that was because last week we talked about the man who was diagnosed with chronic chronic tardiness of all things. Um, The guy who gave himself a five-hour head start to see a movie and was still 20 minutes late. Matt, how do you feel about that guy? What the fuck? Shit! Bullshit! (laughs) Is it all right? Is it still working? Everything's good? I can't see the screen. Yeah, I can see the screen from here, so don't <laughs> fucking lie to me. <laughs> you know I can't afford a fucking Mac. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to learn. You, you break you're it, you buy it. You're in serious trouble. Um, yeah, so evidently I don't know how to fucking open wine bottles. But anyways, the point to the story is butterfly in that's, the sky. that's good news because that was I can totally not even high. supposed to happen. That was if you take very a bad. Look. It's in a book. At least hey, this time I can point to the fact that I was chronic lateness. drinking beforehand. I hate that motherfucker. And none ended up on the ceiling, so that's an improvement. Chronically late. He can't find a date. Yeah. Freaking Eric. Eric at daddy. Eric got wine on my computer because he's a dick. But it's all good because you've got an Apple, so you got Apple Care, right? Yeah, but it's like... So take it to the fucking Genius Bar and they'll be they're like... They're not that geniuses. It's like, <laughs> it's fine. You it's, know what I hate about the Genius Bar? Every time I go there, I order a drink and they just look at me. It's <laughs> like, it's fine. It's just the, you know... I'm sorry. I, I do apologize. First, Samantha gets beer all over my fucking cards and mannered cards. Oh, that's right. And then... That means you have one more. Because everything oh, comes in three. Comes three is, <laughs> oh, no. Just like I do in the bed. Ba-bing! Oh! oh! Hey, man! Yeah. You like that? <laughs> Found that. Found we're, that. Good, we're, we're talking about seconds, though. Um, so anyway, what? this week's a social... Three seconds? Anyways. Uh, uh, so dude, this week... No, okay, Eric. <laughs> Eric, don't. don't eight, wait, are you talking about eight seconds with Luke Perry? No. You said, <laughs> Eric, okay, Eric's trying to put me down, but you know what? <sighs> Any of the girls who've actually... Had sex with me. They know I last a long fucking time. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that to my own horn. I'm trying to strike the record here. Eric, you want to make fun of me? That's fine. But don't it's try to make... a don't, joke. Don't I don't know to, if... Hey, uh, don't do try to make fun of something. Type, in, I'm type ex- into your web browser, google.com slash s slash joke. No, no, no. I, I would, Eric. but my keys are all <laughs> fucking drenched. No, I'm Eric, fucking Eric, telling you Eric, to do it. Eric, I have no problem when you want to make fun of my stupidity. I have no problem if you want to make fun of my sexuality. I have no problem if you want to make because I have no job or girlfriend. But you, you seem when it comes to something... Like this comes to close to home. No, no, no. Like I just want to say, when you, when you criticize something I'm actually good at in life, don't. It when hurts. It, <laughs> when it comes to dick play, you leave them out of there. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> Whoa, dude! You took the wrong because way. Because I'm a. I was being supportive. <laughs> because I'm a dick I'm play. How is that supportive? Because like girls play with their dick. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like I play with dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Yeah. That's why I was like, all right. Evidently, anyway. he's good at the dick play. Guys, I'm a little way off tonight. I mean. Yeah, your computer just got drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, just look at my favorites. Like things are just crazy. Anyways, most ridiculous uh, diseases the we most have. Most ridiculous Jesus, diseases. I know mine. Uh, so we'll turn to, uh, first of all, Twitter. Our one single solitary response on Twitter. Twitter's been weak, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Twitter these days. You know days. what you know should be, do? To be honest with you, I think Twitter is just on its way out because like, people don't really tweet that much. I think anymore. what's happening is like Facebook took all the best things mm-hmm. from Twitter. The, the, basically, hashtags were where Twitter was at. Hashtags is what Twitter had that Facebook didn't have that you could, oh, I can put a hashtag in my post and then anybody can search by that and see my post even if they're not friends with me, this sort of thing. And Facebook's like, man, guess what? We got hashtags now too, bitch. What's up? Can you do me a solid? What's up? 
after we're done with this segment, can you play Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake hashtags? Oh, I've heard about that. I have not seen it yet, but I will. We don't I need the video. We can do straight audio, and we'll fucking laugh our, we'll laugh our ass off. All right. Ourselves. All right. But um, let's get to some of our answers this week. We yeah, should so do an Instagram. We should. I we know, we technically have one. Well, according up. to we some people, Instagrams it. for bitch. Shiz. <laughs> um, call me a fucking bitch because I love that shit. No, Instagram's great for certain things. The the problem is, of course, you have to post from mo- you can't you post from the Instagram computer. Bitches. Eric? No, no. I'll, I'll tell I, you after the show. I like Instagram. No. Okay. I insta I insta the gram all the time. Which is funny because now the this individual who said Instagrams for bitches is now on Instagram. Oh. No, it's not me. I've been on Instagram for a while. I know. You're like OG. <laughs> yeah, I'm old school. I'm I, was, I was on Instagram before. I was on Instagram on my Android before Instagram came to Android. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. That's how cool I am. Yo, I'm going to let, no. let you speak, but let's get to these answers. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to let you off finish. Air, I'm going to let I don't like to slander people. All right. Fucking I do. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to play a clip for him. <laughs> I, know. I know, isn't that? Uh, anyways, we had Matt Hassan said sex Lexia. Oh, we're gonna we're just jump into the Facebook one. Well, I didn't know where we were going. I was pulling up the uh, the one Twitter answer we had. No, well, then go to the Twitter. Okay, answer. the one Twitter answer we got was from Little Cute Girl eighty six. Ashley in the chat room tonight. Uh, she said, "Now I'm probably going to mispronounce this horribly." She said, uh, "Ikan Ella Crodians." Ikalela crodians? Yeah, yeah, totally. What? No, evidently that's what it's it a is. bacteria yeah. that dissolves concrete. Mm-hmm. It's not a disease, evidently, but it, his, if her you do brother get, drilled her with huge words. It's a disease for concrete. Yeah. yeah, if you get it on your penis, not good. Yeah, not good. Especially for mine because it's yeah, that would suck. Fucking hard as concrete. No. Anyways, you fucking See, look at this guy. He's just like I was always trying to. That was such a stupid answer. God. Anyway, turning to my, Twitter, to my, Facebook my, from Twitter. Hey, shut your mouth before I fuck it. We got some good answers. Concrete. Jesus, you're all right. Really? <laughs> really? I mean, you're hey, still on that? Idea. Here's an idea. Why don't you get? Why don't you go uh, watch Breaking Bad and, and just shut up? Why don't you put? Hey, here you go, Matt. You can ask uh, Sammy how the corn was. Hey, how was the corn? Fucking delicious. The corn was, was fucking delicious, everybody. <laughs> I am a magician. <laughs> Ma- <laughs> you just what? Fuck what? my hands, bro. My hands, magician hands. You got magi- so you a magic trick now. We're we're talking about boiling corn on the cob, not jerking off. Oh, you made you made liquor disappear. I just cleaned up all the fucking wine that Eric spilled on my computer. Yeah, look at this kid. He spills it all over a wall, on the hey, table, on all over. Computer. I'll, I'll have you know that the ceiling is clear of uh, of wine stains. Not over, up there, over here, where I just did it right now. A moment. All right, ago. we'll just let the world Why don't know. Why you just have butterflies Anyways, in the sky? So, as you said a moment ago, Matt Hines said, "Sexlexia." I'm assuming that's some sort of condition where you have sex backwards. You come, actually, no. It's uh, it's actually it's actually then, from Futurama, where uh, uh, he's yeah. like Kiff. Tell everybody about my disease I have. And then Kip's like, sexlexia. It's a sensual disease. So what, so what do you... I don't know. They, did, they didn't really explain it. Do you just it. go backwards? Do you start cuddling? I'm you you start asleep, <sighs> and then you wake up cuddling. Eric, <laughs> www.itsajoke.com, asshole. Futurama. Let me Google that for you. Uh, Brady <laughs> I Wadsworth bet, I bet said, you could buy the fucking domain, too. I-T-I-S. Itsy. It is. Itis. It is. Itis. Itis? Christopher Itis. What Itis? Itis, Itis, Itis. is an inflammation. Itis of what? Yeah, what inflammation Itis? of my boner. Whoa. Bony. And we got Perry Vitali who went okay. racist and said black syphilis. I love <laughs> black syphilis. That's my fucking nephew, dude. Yeah, you know what happens when you get black syphilis? You look down and you just go, what the fuck? <laughs> you go, hey, yo. You go, holy crap, it got bigger, but it's diseased. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sc- I'm scared, but I'm also happy. I, I don't even know what it's, to do it's, here. It's a wave of mixed emotions. I don't know, man. Is it like a, is it real? I'm going to fucking You're like, is that a real thing? Yeah, dude. Uh, Dylan Walter said restless, restless, Restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome or ADHD. I'm not too sure about fibromyalgia, but I'm pretty sure it's crap too. And I will tell you this: fibromyalgia is not crap. It is dude. Fucking do you have it? Business. No, my wife does. Oh, that, shit. That's what my wife has. Um, but I, I will have. There's to been say, a lot of research. Check it out. for a long time. There were a lot of doctors who thought fibro you was just got bullshit. Of kicked, didn't you? But. Um, there has been some more recent research that has oh, shown that it has been that it is a serious. Is it real? 
Urban Dictionary. Oh, said this. Urban, oh well, Urban Dictionary doesn't count. <laughs> well, I'm about to read this shit, so finish all right, your so, sentence. So all I'm saying well, is... Well, I have to say Restless Leg Syndrome Restless Leg Syndrome, AD, I think, is a little iffy. No, ADHD, I have it. I know for a fact it's all, real because my brother I suffers from those. it, and it's fucked up. I even have sex um, And fibro is definitely real because, trust me, I live with it I every day. I have sex You got black syphilis, um, too? Yeah. So let, let's hear a little bit about what black every time syphilis I, Every time I look at my black syphilis, it always looks at me and goes, my other dick is black. Yeah, it's like, what's up, brother? I haven't seen you in a little bit. Yeah, it goes, what the fuck? You about to take a shower? You about to take a shower? Don't. <laughs> don't wash this. If you want this link to go away, don't wash it. Better wrap it and bag it. Damn straight. I ain't getting water on this Double shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but, talking to you. Yes, I am talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Black syphilis. All right. Oh. A pseudo-legendary STD with a probable origin in East Asia, according to a hearsay, the malignant virus manifests many of the same symptoms as standard syphilis but does so with alarming speed and terminality. Unfortunately, there's no treatment or cures for black syphilis. Oh, According to Fable, the terrarity, the terrarity phase of the disease results in the infected decay of one genitals, and in men, will supposedly cause the penis to eventually rot off. Ouch. Fuck that! Yeah, let's not get what black syphilis. Fuck? That's messed up! Don't Everybody, go, Don't go to East Asia! Right here, right here, right now. Everybody focus on me. We're making a pact right now. None of us are getting black syphilis. All right. I'm, I'm in. I'm out. No, dude. Come on. Bring that in. <laughs> he's, already we, got, he's already got the... And hey! break! All right. We don't want that. No black syphilis here. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. We got a response oh, from Jeff. I got Jeff. plenty of time for that. No job, no girl. Why not? Just bring on the black syphilis. No, you ain't got time for that. <laughs> Jeff Higgins said, whatever ailment people have that makes them think it's okay to bring their dog anywhere they go, also known as narcissism. Um, yeah. <laughs> like in the little bags and shit? Yeah, dude. No, and it, it's... Okay. If you carry your dog around, like, when you're out in public and whatever, fine, whatever. If you get a little tiny fucking chihuahua dog a toy, certified a dog. as a quote-unquote helper dog because you have anxiety or some bullshit like that and want to be able to take your dog into places that don't allow fucking dogs, then you're a bitch, okay? Uh, can because I that's bullshit. Can I counterpoint with this? Yeah. What if you have a gimp? <laughs> that's different. You know, from, like, full size. from like Pulp Fiction. That's full size. He's like that's your, good. He's like, that's your helper. Good. he's like your helper gimp. Yeah. No, that's totally cool. I can take him to coffee shops. He helps me pick out Strange. Yeah. No, uh, no, that's totally cool. No, I, I'm, I I'm down say, with the helper that's like gimp. A, that's like a personal household thing, right? Well, you can take it anywhere. I mean, well, yeah, but you're going to like... It's usually beaten to its best behavior. If you have a gimp, you're going to be like, yo, go make me a pot of coffee off the Keurig or something, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it helps out around the house. Yeah. Well, you might walk him around like the... the, the oh, no, neighbor. I'm taking him on the plane. I'm putting him in his kennel yeah, and everything. No, he, he helps with my anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who says it was a he? Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, hey -o. It's a kid. No, it was a girl. Whoa. What? Whoa. What? Wait, what? Whoa, what? you took with, this to a I dark with, place, Matthew. Wait, wow. I, I went with female, but... Wow. Oh, you're right. female? I said female, and oh. you're like, kid, and I'm no, like... No, no, I don't know. Wow. Why, why'd you I am not supporting of helper yeah. gimp kids. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matt Renfrew, and I'm a huge fan of why Matt are you and guys, Nadler. Why are you guys saying my full name? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, whoa, guys. <laughs> I also Man. cook meth in a pot cooker. I also get wine all over my fucking keyboard. No, oh, no, that's Eric. And my screen. It was that's, on my monitor. Hey, what I tell you? What I tell you? Get your gimp in line. Hey, yeah. I got some on mine, too. <laughs> you know, to be fair. Get <laughs> line, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, our last response on Facebook comes from Aaron Gallo, host of the Starfleet Escape podcast here on the 4 Eyed Radio Network. Check them out at sfescapepod.com. He said, Morgulons. Morgulons. Sufferers have the delusional belief that they are infested with Bye, parasites, Sammy. whereas in reality, no such parasites are present. How bad would that suck? What? Yeah. I mean, sir, first of all, it would suck to be infested with parasites. <laughs> oh, yeah. But how, how bad would it suck to think you're infested with parasites, but not? Like, oh, you couldn't go, you go to the doctor and be like, get rid of these parasites. The doctor's like, nothing wrong with you. You'd be like, fuck you, I got parasites, bitch. So you're just high? No, you got parasites. So you got crabs? No, crabs aren't parasites. What are you trying to tell me? Crabs are cool. Did you get crabs? You just get a t tiny little comb and... Yeah, so what you're saying is the person thinks they're infested by parasites when they're, in fact, aren't... Which aren't. means there's no actual cure because it's in their fucking head. That's messed up. No, there's yeah. a cure. Because they're fucking No, no, no. There's, there's a cure, man. There's a cure, man. It's called lobotomies. The bath salts. <laughs> you ever see that movie, One Flew Over Cuckoo Nest? The they give, a, they give Jack Nicholson a lobotomy, yeah. and then the crazy Japanese, not Japanese, but Indian guy. The crazy out. Japanese, not Japanese guy. Chief. 
Chief like takes a huge like water machine and just throws it out the window the and just window runs window off runs. into like the I wilderness. I love that movie. I like the sequel called Chief Falls in Love with a Tree. Jesus. And then finds a gimp. The courtship of sheep and real the gimp. talk. Real talk. Real talk. That's a damn good movie. That's a fucking good movie and a great book. I never read the book. Fuck you. And I wish I kind of. I've never read the book or seen the movie. Danny DeVito's oh, in it, dude. motherfucker. If anything, Jack just, Nicholson. Just watch the movie. If yeah, Jack Nicholson, dude, Danny Nurse DeVito, Ratchet. Nurse like, Ratchet. Oh, I love that Futurama episode where they made fun of his Nurse uh, Ratchet. <laughs> I thought uh, Nurse Ratchet was from Animaniacs. No. No, that's Doctor Scratch and Sniff. No, the nurse. The nurse is Hello just nurse. called. Yeah, that's all she's called is Hello Nurse. That's her actual Ratchet? name. No. Nurse Nurse Ratchet is from Always One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah. Huh. And honestly, good to know. Dude, check the movie out. It's I fucking will. Yeah, it, awesome. it should be on Netflix. I'll check it out. Dude, right now. Go home and check I'm it out. Bye, guys. I'm watching the movie. <laughs> it's a All fantastic. Right. That's where Jack Nicholson Since. won his Oscar. Yeah, it's it. honestly, it's Raise really good. Raise your hand, Chief. Just, just put it up, up Chief. They're playing, Raise your hand. They're playing Wave basketball. it around like you just don't care. It was one of the movies, like, it, it's Kubrick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, the first time I saw it, like, after it was done, was sh- yeah, I'll get to it, bro. <laughs> we're having we're having a deep conversation here. After I watched it, I was like, "Fuck, that was a really good movie." And at the time, I had already seen Clockwork Orange and mm-hmm. uh, another good movie, the Full Metal Jacket. Ha- own it, have not seen it. You- oh what, <laughs> dude! I have so many movies I own. I've I not know. Seen. I still own Blazing Saddle. Has not watched. It. I know. Are they all in order too? Yeah, all oh, alphabetically. You might want to check that. Check it before I wreck it. You better, you're going to wreck it. Because technically, I was about to watch Blazing Chickety Saddles, but let's just say something else came up. Oh. Full Metal Jacket <laughs> is awesome. Yeah, Full Metal Jacket. No, yeah. dude, it's like, it's so good. It's, no, that's what I've heard. I got it for free, too. From I, like, I own it, too. Like at The moment after I saw it, the next day, I went and bought it. Oh, yeah. No, I got it for free because, like, PlayStation had a deal going on a while back when you bought your first PlayStation 3. They were giving out free five DVD, like, Blu-rays for free. So oh, got, shit. You have it on Blu-ray? Yeah, I got it on Blu-ray. Oh, wow, yeah. dude. I only have it on standard Hardcore. DVD. Hardcore. Yeah. But still have not watched it. Dude, there's there's <laughs> I, a fucking cork in there. There's part of a cork in there is the problem. Well, so push it, push it down. We've learned something tonight, kids. Eric does not know how to open a wine bottle. Okay. I got it. Sorry, guys. I have to get off mic for a little bit. Butterfly in the sky. Just push it, just push it down with. I a, can fly twice as high. Matt is pissed, but Eric's a dick. Reading rainbow, reading rainbow, Matt. Well, turning, we trying to get a cork out. Eric's laughing ahead. Oh, Did oh, now we're spilling the wine. Over, cut it all over. <laughs> Jeez, At least co- I'm not the only one. I like how two co-hosts just like to ruin my fucking house. I got it on. You owe me not only a new girlfriend, but a job, motherfucker. <laughs> and a countertop. Um, anyway, no, so, countertop. because we didn't get a ton of answers you, you from Facebook or Twitter, we also turned to Reddit <laughs> for an answer to this question, and we did get a, a couple oh, of uh, decent responses. Um, we've got one that's called uh, Foreign Language Syndrome from uh, Ying Ling Horse 5 is the person who answered this. Now, uh, have yeah, you yeah, ever, now. Have you ever heard of this? Strasse. Foreign Language Syndrome? Have you... <laughs> You gotta just use a. There's a wooden spoon over there. You just push it down. No, but then I try to pour it out and it goes back. You might have to like push it and then pour. Anyways, um, so foreign is it foreign language syndrome or foreign accent syndrome? Okay. Okay. I I think it's actually supposed to be foreign accent syndrome. Is a very rare medical condition in which patients develop what appears to be a foreign accent. Foreign accent what syndrome. What are you talking about? I do not understand stroke, what you are saying. I've had a stroke. But can also many develop times. from head trauma. However, two cases have been reported in individuals where, with the kish, condition as a developmental problem. I have been hit in the face. So there's that. Thank you, sir. Um, we also have uh, one called Kuru. K U R U. Have you ever heard of this? No. No? My I probably should have done this research before the show. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to look it up real quick here. Kuru, Kuru the disease, Did is an incurable, a degenerative neurological disorder endemic to tribal regions of Papua New Guinea. Anyways, um, so the term curve does blah, 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 blah. Uh, it doesn't really say what it does. Evidently, it's just a de- degenerative neurological disorder, and that's that's all they want to tell us about it. So uh, yeah, don't get Kuru because that sucks. That would suck. Um, we also have P 
Pika. P I C A. What is? Yeah, pika, that's what pika. I. That's what I thought. Pika, that's pika. where. Yeah, that's the disease where wherein you think you are Pikachu. You go around saying, yeah. uh, "Pika, motherfuckers." Um, let's see here. Pika Welcome is back. characterized by an appetite for substances largely non-nutritive, such as ice, clay, chalk, dirt, or sand. Okay, so basically, sort of that fucking I have a strange addiction type bullshit. No, actually, basically, what they're saying is uh, somebody who is was it by uh, bulimic. Hmm. That's when you eat shit and then throw shit up. Oh, then what's this the other one? This is when you eat shit that you don't, that doesn't have any value. Like oh, 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 I know what the syndrome is called. It's called uh, Garbage Pail Kid. <laughs> Wait, if, then what's, uh... Anemic? Yeah. Anemic is when your blood doesn't have enough iron in it. Yeah, like me. Um, and then you have Persistent Sexual Arousal Syndrome. I think that name speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. I've got a boner all the time, boner all the time. <laughs> boner all the time. Um, and then we've got the capgrass delusion. This is our final response here. The capgrass delusion, evidently, that has something to do with Can I ask being a question real quick? delusional about capgrass. Yes, ask. What's the difference between bulimic and anorexic? Anorexic is when you don't one. eat. Yeah, those all. are the people who would chew on ice because it would assume that the, it would trick the body into saying that you're eating something, but you're just having water. Right. Mm. But it's not uh, an obsession with the ice itself. It's just the not eating. That's when you're actually starving. So bulimics, bulimics you're eating, eating, which I have become in the past, but they throw it up. And then throw up anorexics. You just don't eat. You just don't, don't eat. eat. Yeah, that's what happened to me with my depression. Yeah. All right. Now, the capgrass delusion <laughs> is a disorder in which the person holds a delusion that a friend, spouse, parent, or other close family member has been replaced by identical looking imposter. Oh, my God. I just saw that on, uh, on SVU. The oh, did you? Yeah, there was a woman who thought delusion. her daughter was uh, replaced. Like every time she saw her face, she did not recognize her daughter, but if she heard her voice, she recognized her. That's, that's actually that's face blindness. That's what uh, Clooney's got. No, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, whatever. You Pitt, know, Clooney, whatever. No, they're all Clooney they're all just, okay, part of just, Ocean's You just 11. supported George Clooney's new movie. It was good. I enjoyed it. Don't Gravity. you belittle him? Gravity. Yeah. yeah, it was good. We enjoyed it. Not worth anyway. Do you know? There's one thing I will say about SVU is they. They bring in a lot of information and a lot of different scenarios. They like do, and I like it. It's yeah, it is. You nice. know who the best person on that show is? Marishna Harshtate. No, B D Wong. B D Wong. B D Wong. You know yeah, where? You know, you know he was originally first on. He was on uh, Jurassic, Park. Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You suggesting it's that a, a population entirely made of females will mate? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the pencil lifted from the get the pen lifted from the pen. You know pen. why? Because they were dinosaurs. Mate? I just think like, <laughs> lots of dinosaurs. It's a Velociraptor. Yeah, it's a Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Those the raptor. No, there is no, uh, there's no breeding in Jurassic Park. All the dinosaurs are female. Somebody yeah. going around uh, lifting the dinosaur skirts? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> with the... Uh, Jeff with motherfucking Goldblum. Which is funny because Jeff Goldblum is also on Criminal Intent. Dude, I was at a bar one night. At, I was actually at uh, Casey Moore's. I'll just say, you were... You were Balls deep. No, I was at Casey Moore's, and this girl comes up to me. She's like, you Balls look deep like Casey Jeff Moore's. She says you look what? like Jeff. How fucking drunk was she? I have God no idea. Does she understand that Jeff Goldblum is I white? Went, this is my reaction. I went, pretty much the same reaction. What? Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> what, what, have I been, what have I been mistaken as? I've heard uh, uh, back in high school, somebody said I look like Tobey Maguire. Somebody said I look like Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, well, they kind of look alike. So that, that The that other person sense. said I look like the kid from, uh, was it the pansy from Star, the new Star Trek? Who play, uh, not Star Trek, the Star Wars Check movie. No. Not Chekhov. Oh. Star hey, Wars. Hayden Christensen? Hayden Christensen. Uh, I yeah, don't I don't see it either. So. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see that one, sorry. No, I don't. No offense. I'm no, just no, saying, no, no. I'm just saying it. this is what happened to me that people have said I've looked like. So the but only Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. That's dude. fucking great, dude. Take that, dude. No, you should have done. You should turn around and be like, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I mean, I'll yeah, fucking yeah. take it. But yeah. I was like, <laughs> really? Yeah. Have you heard of uh, 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 chaos, chaos Theory? Yeah, uh, uh, I was in. I was in. My pinky yeah, in the fucking beer and like. Now, where where do you think the uh, the, the beer is is, is going to go uh, th- this time around? Are, are we going to see any Are we going to see any dinosaurs on this on this tour? Hello, <sighs> hello. <laughs> I really hate that man. Oh, Jesus, but, yeah. movie, I like that. I'm taking you out now, dude. I'm taking it. I go, dude. You know who I'm here with tonight? Who? Jeff Fuck Goldblum. Jeff Fucking Goldblum. Goldblum. They'd be like, he looks darker in person. Oh yeah, yeah. He's getting. He's getting. It yeah, he's he's getting tans now. He's been doing a lot of stuff with the league, you know. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> the only he's famous person that I've ever been 
told I've, ne I've never been mistaken for, but I've been told I look sort of like is uh, fucking Jason Siegel from uh, How I Met Your Mother. Mm -hmm. okay. I've been told that, but you know what? My brother looks way more like him than I do. Wait, really? is your brother single? Yes. No. Damn, maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking keep up with that shit. No, 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 no. no. I want to know. I want to know. Brother, because, not my kid, man. No, no, I don't no. fucking care. No, no. I put it this way. I want to know because uh, my roommate. Is like in love with Jason Siegel, <laughs> so if anybody looks like him and meets the requirements, she's all over that. I no, I've heard her talk about how picky she is, and trust me, my brother does not meet her requirements. Oh, okay. Um, but anyways, the point of the story is that's the closest I got, and Jason Siegel is not really that great looking guy, so I'm kind of like, oh, thanks. Oh, dude, I, I love guess. Jason Siegel. No, he's a great actor. He's funny, but look, he's fucking no, 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 no. Look, look, Jason Siegel understands he's not the best looking guy. He's not the worst looking guy, but he's not the best looking guy. That's why he worked on his humor. And that's why people find attractive, and that's what I've heard. He's because musically talented too. Because women love oh, yeah. women yeah, love a sense of tuba? humor, apparently. Boss? Which uh, I'm going to say, rock the shit out which I'm going to say, bullshit. Because women love a sense of humor. I'd be diving in pussy every fucking night because I'm fucking hilarious. God damn it! Yeah, especially when you're stop looking at me, Jeff it. Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. So that does it for our socially awkward question of the week. Thank you for the people who did respond. Hopefully next week we'll get a little bit bigger response. Yeah, we always want a lot of people kind of response, res responsing, responding. Bro, bro, bro. This wine, man, it's good. So, uh, Stephen, do you want to talk about your comic corner? I'm not going to lie. I haven't drank wine in a while. Sure, we can do I'm that. All right. All right. Well, why don't, we, why don't we Are jump you right in? All right. All right. Oh. I'm getting into it. There you go. It's time for Stevo's Comic Book Corner. Quickly, old chum, to the Sass Cave. Ha ha You see what I did there, old chum? I have to say, I really got a hand to Adam West helping us out with that segment. <laughs> I know, <that's> <laughs> Thank you, rad. Adam. Thank you. We appreciate uh, that. So, with, a Steve in, with my Comic Book Corner this week, I don't have any uh, comic books to recommend. But I do have to talk about, if you're going to the New York Comic Con and you wanted to buy a four-day pass, it is all sold out. So you might want to look elsewhere if you're planning on going to the uh, New York Comic Con. The four-day passes are all sold out. I feel that, uh, I think, Bleeding... Cool.com is actually having a uh, contest where you can win some four-day passes, but if Ooh. you're looking to buy four-day passes right now for the New York Comic Con, they are sold out as of right now. So would you... I'm sorry, not to interrupt. So no, that's fine. Obviously, San Diego Comic Con is just fucking huge. It's huge. Is, is New York the next biggest one? I would say so. New York has been a very, pretty big one. Now, I remember back in the day when Comic Cons were first like starting out, I think we had like Wizard Con and Dragon Con were kind of like the first ones, right. really low-key. But then, for some strange reason, nerdism blew up. Yeah. Now, the problem with nerdism I have is there's a lot of people who are hardcore nerds. There are a lot of people who grew up being a nerd. There's a lot of people who played video games, collected comic books, and did all that stuff. And then there's a lot of people who've just jumped on the new bandwagon. Yeah. So now, because back Back in the day, if you read a comic book, you were a freak and an outcast. But now, if you read a comic book, you're cool. So I think that's the biggest reason why some of these cons have blown up so much is now you're getting a lot of not only these hardcore fans, but you're getting kind of these newbies. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not. Well, you're bashing. also getting a lot more it's fucking pop culture. Yeah, well, yeah I'm not, I'm not you're really, getting a lot yeah, more of the, the thing. movie. I'm, I'm, yeah, thing going I'm not really too. trying to bash any newbies and stuff. Like that. I do congratulate these people; they do want to embrace this kind of stuff and things like that. But it is, I will have to say, with over the past couple of years. It has become a fad now. And you remember that, because that same thing happened with punk rock music back when we were in high school, with Lee yeah. senior year, it became a huge fad. Like, people started yeah. dressing like that, and then yeah. that went away, which was nice, because then I could finally pick up my fucking albums again. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so if you are going yeah. for the New York Comic Con four-day passes, they are sold out, but don't get me wrong, if you actually call in right now, I have three passes right now that I'll give you. <laughs> the phone number is one eight eight eight. Not gonna. We don't have a number, do we? That's <laughs> we saying. don't know. That's that's the one, the one downside to the new broadcasting here on Spreaker. There's not a dial-in number. Um, what we could theoretically set up in the future yeah, is a, a Skype dial-in. Yeah, we Skype could do number. a Skype dial-in, or we could even do, um, if one of you guys wants to uh, give out your phone number, we could plug a phone directly nope. into the board. Yeah, I'm like, it ain't gonna be mine. I'll tell you that much right now. Maybe if I can get a, if I can get a Google Voice number, if I can get it set up with a Google Voice number, yeah. then we'll that's, we'll do well, it that way. That's a whole different story. So, but that's. Another time for another day. Another day for another time. Let's go back to another day. Now, so black got... and white stories into silent film. Oh, yes. Now, okay. uh, credits where credit is due. DC Comics has uh, certainly found it a unique way of promoting upcoming Black, Mac, black and White number two. The publisher has posted a video that turns uh, Michael Usla and David Bullock's short story, Silent Night, 
and Unholy Night into a silent film turtle, complete with old-timey orchestra music and uh, tears in the film and silent uh, captions. Uh, posted earlier today on DC's website, YouTube channel, the 40-second trailer heavily features uh, Bullock's artwork with limited animation, which lends itself incredibly well to the video uh, presentation. It looks like this comic will be released, I believe, in on October... Will it hit store? Yeah, Batman Black and White 2 will hit stores on October 2nd. Nice. All right. That'd be cool. That'd that be will cool. be kind of cool. Actually, I kind of like those kind of comics. A really good comic was actually Spider-Man Noir, where it actually took place back in like like the 1940s and everything. Yeah. Like that. And it was like Spider-Man, and it had a really kind of kind of unique costume where it really wasn't like a like a spider costume. It just kind of was like a ski mask with goggles, and they had like kind of like just say a black like jacket and everything like that. But it was really kind of unique to see like how Spider-Man was taken in that that kind of era and who they had. And it was really kind of cool because they brought in like the Green Goblin. And they also brought in a uh, Tombstone, who was uh, no not Tombstone. What was it? Hammerhead. Uh, the guy with the huge okay. forehead. He yeah, was or whatnot, right. so. that makes that makes more sense. I was like Tombstone. What? But Tombstone is a Spider-Man character as well. See, I don't know. It's a good about movie too. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about Tombstone. No, uh, he's just a guy who's got. Uh, he basically uh, fell into a bat, and his entire body is just basically pure like stone, where like he can't get hurt at all or whatnot. Huh. Yeah, not really creative with the name. <clears throat> and then the only <laughs> other thing I really have, because uh, I was just trying to find some stuff. Apparently, there was a. Uh, comic book resources did a uh, top five X Men like the top five deaths, the uh-huh. most heroic deaths. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was actually going to give me a list, but it literally just gives you a bunch of comic pages. Oh yeah. So like, I literally had to go through and like find out. So apparently Colossus kills himself. I don't know why. Okay. Because there was a contest to uh, draw um, a page of Colossus, and they said you had to show him killing himself. <laughs> uh, then there's one where um, Apache Chief, some weird Apache guy, dies as well. Is that, is that who that is? I think the coolest death, though, is, uh, is one where it's a uh, Nightcrawler, and they're battling against, I think, uh, what's his name? Um, Jim wanna, Bob Jamboree. I want to say Archangel. Oh, Archangel. Okay. Um, they're battling against him, and he actually goes to save, I think, Kitty Pride, and he actually morphs himself in front of uh, his arm, his robotic arm, and then they transport each other to another area. So basically his arm is stuck in Nightcrawler, but he saved Kitty Pride by doing so. So I thought that was actually kind of a unique way of going out and trying to save somebody. Um, I always liked Nightcrawler. I thought he was a good character. There's also I, the Age of I Colossus, like, yeah, where like actually, Nightcrawler. this is, I've never actually read this comic, but I heard about it, but it's actually where uh, Cyclops actually sacrifices himself, and he uh, kills himself. Uh, to s- try to save everybody. Then there's also Cable, which who cares about Cable? Um, do you care? Cable about had this? some good. He, Cable had some good moments with other people. But uh, when but, he was in X Man, Cable and X Man, yeah, there was some there was some good stuff in there. But I will say this now, bringing up this top five X Men deaths now. Do you guys remember any really comic book deaths that really like sparked your interest, or you were kind of like, wow, this was actually really good, or anything like that, or anything that was like a bit when you heard about, it, you're like, this um, was a big deal. I remember when there was the death of Superman. Yeah, but I knew that wasn't going to be like a permanent thing. Um, Was it Mary Jane that they killed off? No, Gwen Stacy. That's 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 what I'm thinking of. When I heard about the death of Gwen Stacy, and I I read that book, and I was like, holy fucking crap! They actually killed like not just part of the origin story. Yeah, we know Uncle Ben dies, whatever, as part of the the origin story. But a significant character, yeah. Yeah, but when a significant character dies, and you know they're probably going to stay dead because they're not the main character. Like, whenever they kill one of the main characters, like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's going to come back in another timeline or another version or blah, 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 whatever. It's going to come back. Uh, When they kill somebody who's close but auxiliary, you know that's going to stay dead. And so that's probably the one that I can think of off the top of my head where I was like, holy crap, they really did that? Which is funny because Emma Stone, who was cast as Gwen Stacy with the new Spider-Man reboot, The Amazing Spider-Man, right. she's already uh, already planned for the inevitable where they're actually going to plan on killing off her character in the right. movie. So I think that's, a, even though she already knows it's coming, she's like, whatever, I'll just you know make the money while I can. And fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, I love <laughs> that's Emma Stone. That's I'd be like, Emma Stone, I know my you're character listening. dies. Emma Stone, if you're listening, feel free to come on the show anytime. She, from Scott, she was uh, from Scottsdale. Yeah, she was from Scottsdale. Really? And I'm in yep. love with you, Emma Stone. So she's please. She's pretty fucking hot. Please. And she's cool. So that's a bonus. Um, I can be your new Spider Man. Yeah, so how Fuck about you? What's your Garfield. favorite uh, death in the comics? I would have to say a comics. really good twist was actually the death of Captain America. That fucking guy. Now, that was actually kind of a cool one because it took place after the Civil War. Spoiler, people, if you have not read Civil War. Civil War was the battle between both superhero groups such as Iron Man and uh, 
Captain America. Yes, the poster that is on the studio wall. Boy, uh, sorry, yeah. studio. Basically, what happened is a bunch of rogue superheroes had a reality show. They took on more than they could chew. Uh, they ended up, the villains blew up an entire civilian like radius of about, about maybe 30-mile block. Uh, that all? Took out a bunch of people, and then the government decided to use the uh, Superhero Registration Act. And uh, Iron Man was on board. A bunch of people joined Iron Man where they would sign up, let them know, uh, hello, I'm Tony Stark, I'm Iron Man, so on and so forth. The Captain America did not agree with this. He went rogue. So at the end of it all, Captain America decides, you know what, we're wrong. He turns himself in, gets arrested, and by the time he gets to his court date, all of a sudden, boom, he's assassinated outside of the courtroom. Now, the coolest part about it, there's the Winter Soldier, which is in terms, a.k.a. Bucky, from Captain America, if you people did not know this. He becomes the Winter Soldier, and then it turns out that everyone thinks he killed Captain America, but then he actually hunts down Captain America's killer. So that so was actually no, kind of, no was actually Mark the... Wahlberg from Shooter. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so the upcoming no. movie, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, that's Bucky? It should be Bucky if, it, if they're doing everything right. correctly. Have they disclosed that at all? I don't think so, but everybody who knows about... The Winter Soldier no, should know no, that, yeah, Bucky becomes the I'm Winter Soldier. I'm just kind of curious who's so, that character. That's if they're even going with that, or they're just calling it the Winter Soldier because of Captain America was kind of like in the ice, and they're calling him Winter Soldier. Because I'm not really sure. They haven't really disclosed too much about that movie. So, I know, but it's like see. coming up. It's like, yeah, it's coming up next, next summer. Year, yeah. yeah. I love how you know, this is where Marvel is actually being really brilliant in their marketing. Not only have they tied all these movies together to to the Avengers, and now they're extending it beyond before they get to Avengers 2, but now they've got the TV show too. So if you're watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you have to watch all the movies they put out because they're probably going to reference these to, movies. To understand. I mean, like yeah. right now, if you were watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you hadn't seen Iron Man 3, for example... You'd have no clue what they were talking about with that well, guy. Well, a little cute, the thing I like in the beginning where like the kid's looking in the store after yeah. they get, and they have all the action figures. They have like Iron Man, the Hulk, and everything. Yeah. He's like, I know your birthday's coming up. Which one's your favorite or whatnot, which I thought was kind of funny. So it's like they the did, like, fuck you. They did kind of like a marketing thing or whatnot <laughs> yeah. you know, with that. So I do find it very creative that they are kind of doing this. It makes me also kind of wonder, like I don't know if they'll do it, but I don't know if they're ever going to do cameos from like... Tony Stark and stuff like that. I doubt they will. They would honestly. cost yeah, so I much. I know it cost it so much. But yeah, that's the which real is, thing. Which is unless really they can get sad. somebody who's willing to do it for cheap or for free. Like if they've got somebody, like I could see Robert Downey Jr. I could like, see Mark doing Ruffalo it doing fun. it. Yeah, but they've already gotten Robin Spotsky. Yeah, they don't need anybody else. Well, like, like, yeah, I mean, I Robin know, I know, Spotsky, I know, I know, if you know I, what I'm saying. If anybody, I could see maybe like. I could see Mark Ruffalo. I, yeah. yeah, I could see that, or I could see Samuel Jackson. Nick I Fury. would love to see Nick Fury. On that would that. be awesome. That's kind of a crucial one, though. You yeah. know, like yeah, he's like the one. He's like the one that they should get. If anything, it might be. He's the one they should pay for if they near have. the end of the season. Maybe like. You know, it'd also be cool about what they would do with the Ages of Shield is tying in a bunch of stuff where it comes down to like at the end of a season where he's all like when it's coming up to the uh, the Avengers two movie like he comes walking to be like all right people we're gearing up shit's in the fan and then just, like, uh, that'd be season, cool you know kind of stuff and like then that. you go see the movie and then the next season comes out exactly and, I mean yeah. they could tie it in like yeah, so they're, well they're doing do that. I think they're going to do something like that because they're obviously tying things into the movies so I think we're going to see some sort of tie in to where not necessarily you have to watch the movie to get what's going on in the show or have to watch the show to get but what's going on in the movie, but enough to where, like, if to, you watch both, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I get that. To be kind of honest, I think it's like, actually, to, to be honest, I think it's actually really smart because if you think about it, you have to wait, like, right now we're watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and we're waiting till what, the next Thor movie, which comes out in November? Mm -hmm. So yeah. this holds us over to that movie. Then what happens? Then the break happens, you see the movie, comes back for uh, spring, hopefully it gets renewed and everything like that, right. then you watch that up to the summer, then what happens in the summer? You get the Captain America movie. Like, I think this is like its little standpoint of holding you over until it's the next a, movie. It's right. right. actually yeah. a smart marketing move on their part because it keeps you interested in That's everything true. else. That's true. I totally agree. So, Matt, I highly recommend go check out Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I will. Right now. So, Do it! Um, right now, I think but we're... But before that... Let's play this uh, YouTube clip. Yeah, we did want to bring up this uh, this hashtag, Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake. This will lead us into the uh, Matthews album picks of the week here. Hey, Justin, what's up? Not much, Jimmy. Hashtag chillin'. What's up with you? <laughs> Been busy working. Hashtag rise and grind. Hashtag is it Friday yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, check it out. I brought you some cookies. Hashtag homemade. Hashtag oatmeal raisin. Hashtag show me the cookie. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Hashtag don't mind if I don't. 
pretty good. Hashtag getting my cookie on. Hashtag I'm the real cookie monster. Hashtag no, 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 no. <laughs> Hashtag I did it all for the cookie. Hashtag L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L O Hashtag classic. By the way, did you catch last week's episode of Duck Dynasty? Hashtag quack quack. No, nah, lately I've mostly been watching Netflix. Hashtag Orange is the New Black. Oh, nice. I've been watching a lot of Barney the Dinosaur. Hashtag Purple is the New Black. Hashtag I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Hashtag I'm 38. Hashtag Dinosaurs. Hashtag How do they go extinct? Hashtag Meteor. Hashtag Ice Age. Hashtag Speaking of Ice Age, I just watched Ice Age on demand the other day. Hashtag Funny. Hashtag Ray Romano. Hashtag Debra! Debra! <laughs> Hey, by the way, Halloween's only like a month away. I know. I mean, do you know where you're going to be at? Hashtag life decisions. Hashtag sexy ghost. I think I'm going to go as a ninja turtle. Hashtag gotta be Raphael. Hashtag Leonardo sucks. Hashtag the turtle, not the Italian Renaissance painter. Hashtag Mona Lisa. Hashtag is she smiling? Hashtag speaking of smiling, I just saw my dentist. Hashtag bling. Hashtag dental care. Hashtag cavity free. Hashtag that's how we do. Hashtag we go hard. Hashtag and we can't stop. Hashtag we won't stop. Hashtag we run this. Hashtag true players for life. Hashtag is it worth it or let me work. Get hashtag put my thing down, flip it, then reverse it. Hashtag, hashtag is there women in the band yet? Hashtag is there women in the band yet? Hey guys. Yeah, Quest? What's up? Hashtag shut the f up. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> that was fucking brilliant. Yeah, oh my that was gosh. Great. So, um, wow. Th- just to give a little recap, this whole month of the September on Jimmy Fallon, it's been Timberlake Tuesdays, and he's been coming on each Tuesday, and they've been doing little skits like that. So, it's been really funny. But leading into my album release picks, there's really only one. It's fucking Justin Timberlake's The 2020 Experience Part Two of Two. That really? Comes out. What? Yeah. You had another one? Yes, we have the follow-up to the 2020 experience. Yeah, yeah, so, JT in the uh, hizzle! You know, like, there's really only fucking one. And this this Tuesday, man, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm stoked. You want to you wanna do a midnight release? <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you at Walmart. Let's I'll go meet to you at Walmart. Walmart down the, the street. Bring, we'll just bring, bring, we'll just bring the equipment, a tape recorder. We got this shit down. I JT! Will, I will tell you something. So I have tickets to his concert in December. Nice. I will see if I can get some audio or <laughs> I, speak, obviously sneak your phone in. Hopefully they don't have a. Uh, no, no. I'll I don't be, know what's going on here. What's I'll going on here? I don't. Why is there? Why? Why is there music playing? Justin Jimberly. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know what just happened there. I don't know either. So I'll <laughs> I'll see if I can get some audio. Obviously, like I'm not gonna get fucking any interviews or anything. Yeah, you will, like dude, dude, dude. What? Why not? Dude. I'll put my mind to it. Go for it. Dude. Put break your mind a, on your money and your money on your mind. Get down and break a sweat. Rock and roll, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. Say by the bell. Shh, listen, listen. I'm listening. This is what you do, man. You make a fake press pass for the Four Eyed Radio Network. You say, I'm Matthew fucking Renfro from the Fro Show. You know me. Everybody knows me. If you don't, Everybody knows me. If you don't Matthew know me, Renfro. guess what? You're going to call my people. And then you know who you dial? You dial me. And guess who your people is? Is your agent, Tommy Tillanakis. I pick up the phone. Hello, this is Tommy Tillanakis. Are you not letting my bro in? Are you not letting Matthew into the club? Don't make me come down there. I will beat the shit out of you. I have also been drinking and smoking cocaine. But that's besides <laughs> the point because I'm Tommy motherfucking Tillanakis. Kiss. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we have the press passes for Comic-Con? Oh, what? What? Uh, yeah, I just tell everybody to call my agent, Tommy Tillanakis. So I guess I have to entertain you people right now. So. Yeah, just uh, vamp it up. Vamp it up, buddy. We only got a, a few minutes. So anyways, before we get going and stuff like that, and uh, Matt releases his, uh, you know, whatnot we're going to do, We, uh, you can find us on uh, Speaker, uh, iTunes. Speaker? Spreaker, Spreaker, iTunes, Stitcher, Zoom Marketplace, Blackberry Podcast, Zero Mirror Guide, and Double Twist and SoundCloud. Also, don't forget to visit AmericaJoy.com because we do sponsors by them for I Radio Network, business cards, flyers, posters, banners, auto cuts, and more. And also, don't forget to check out Amazon.com. Go to sociallyawkwardstudios.com, click on the Amazon banner, and shop like you normally do. We get a little taste if you do. And uh, wrapping up the end of the show, uh, Eric Dewey, Matt Renfro, and you can follow us at thesasquatch.net on the Twitter. Yeah. 
Yeah, I probably fucked that up because I've never it's, done this before. It's twitter.com slash the Sasquatch Net or just at the Sasquatch Net. You can follow and find us on Facebook. And Remember, Facebook. ladies, if you're, uh, if you're lonely Net. and you just want a uh, big pork in the, you know, whatever not, you can hit me up on Twitter at Stephen Mooney Jr. I am very drunk right now, so I don't really care. <laughs> and if you just want to chat with a married guy who has no interest in anything uh, sexual you don't want to do that. You don't want to do uh, You can follow me at Eric J. What Dewey. What the fuck? I, I'm not trying to horn in on your action here. I'm just talking to the ladies out there who aren't lonely, who maybe just want to just chat. No, they're all lonely. Anyway. Every single woman's lonely, even oh. the married ones. And Matthew, where can we find you on at the interweb? Underscore, I'm sorry, I'm jamming out. It's at uh, Matthew underscore Renfro on Twitter or at Matthew Renfro on Instagram. Our next live show will be number 40 at... Uh, the big on, four. Oh. on October 4th, 6 p.m. PDT. Don't forget our new Social Actual Question of the oh, Week. That's supposed be. to be PST. Oh, my bad. Uh, my bad. Oh, man. Anyway, do you check us out when we put the new uh, question up, hopefully on Sundays, which we're going to try to shoot that's for. That's the goal. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and until next time, kiddies, tap that sass. Actually, if you want to tap it. Come on in. Follow me on Twitter because each Tuesday I do the new album releases. Yeah, tap that. And I put out all the, the cover art and all that stuff. So at Matthew underscore uh, not that's what Twitter. At Matthew underscore <laughs> Instagram. Just fuck fucking find me on Instagram. Jesus, I'm sorry. Not too many. No one but you in crowded rooms. We can do anything. Can drive you crazy. And the way you move when you go crazy, that's a